Hey man, man. look. Zoom in on all the hairy coochies. That'd yeah. be the first thing we should start off. Welcome back to the eighty five South Show. I don't know what number this is in our uh, coronavirus episode, special. Oh, episode gazillion. Okay. Well, we don't even keep up with that. We don't, ain't no telling what number. <laughs> episode gazillion. Yeah. Episode 976, part two. Hey, man. I ain't seen you since this virus took over. Last time I seen you, that shit was just in China. Man, I Now, the last time I seen you, they canceled the Wild Now tour. Man, they canceled every damn thing. Nigga, I had to go buy some NyQuil because, you know, that's that what black people miss. Right. NyQuil looks to cheer up everything. Right. Go get some NyQuil and set up. They better be glad nigga ain't no rubber tuss. Man, we ain't been in this bitch in a minute, man. So we trapping back out the trap. Back in the trap. Selling nicks and now, hon. <laughs> Selling nicks and now, hon. Got a lot of catching up to do, man. Cause you know, this the bad part. Cause you know, even though the, the coronavirus ain't hit, we still got people that go to YouTube. Right. And they want to just check the shit out of, and want us to get back into our original. Right. You know what I'm saying? And... And even though the coronavirus is out, man, we ain't got no choice but to feed the people consistently. We got to feed them. Come on, somebody. Because think all the people sitting at home with no snacks. Think all the people that just just sitting at the house with no tissue. Can't even wipe their ass. Ooh, somebody wipe their ass with a paper towel. Somebody wipe their ass with their thumb. A that bounty fuck. paper towel. Mm. The thicker, quicker picker up. The thicker, quicker picker up. The bounty <laughs> picker up. Hey, man, Um, I was uh, scrolling the other day, and it looks like you have made a... Made an announcement. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What going on? The announcement you made. Oh, man. Nigga having a baby. Yeah. Hey, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. My dick still work. My dick still work. You thought it was going to stop? Man, I'm going to have 10 kids. For real? Yep, I already know it. Same mom. We ain't in China. We got to have 10 kids. Same mom. So, I mean, Boy, same. you going to wear that pussy out. I mean, same coochies. 10 people been in there? Wow. That shit gonna be out of chain. I that got 10. Up. That I was, got 10 on the that, that what you working on? Mm-hmm. Hey, man, well, congratulations, man. You know what you have? Little girl. This nigga forever making little girls. Yeah, man. I'm a girl dad, man. You a real player, man, when you have when you have little girls. Man. Yeah. I, mean, I ain't having boys and shit. Man, you ain't broke nobody hard, nigga. You ain't, you ain't really out here really fucking with these women like that. Come on, now. You ain't no player. Damn, I'm having man. two girls. Come on, man. One more time, man. One more time, man. Congratulations, man. DC Young Fly is out here making additions to the family. I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was a boy, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't doing that gender reveal shit. That's some old puss ass shit. Yeah. First of all, let me tell you why Talk I'm not doing shit. the gender reveal. Because I'm gonna break it down. This is my perspective. First of all, I am a '90s baby. Talk to him. Dig what I'm saying? I dig. It is a millennium. You got the millennium is 2000 and better. That's a new millennium. Okay. If you think about it. That's two different dimensions, bro. Think about it. 2000 era on up and 1999 on back is two different dimensions. Think about it. People that is in the 2000s, they don't even do what we used to do in the 1990s on back. I think you mean decade. No, because even in the 80s, in the 70s, in the 60s, we all in the same dimension. All in the same 1999 on back. That's a whole nother world. 2000 on up. We living in a whole nother space. That's why even some folk who were born back then don't even act like they were born back then. Because they is living in the new dimension. You have. You see what I'm saying? You have. I come from Mars and Coles, baby. No, you have. No. You have. I'm talking that shit. Good nigga, you just tried to convince me niggas is from two different dimensions. We all two different dimensions. I almost fuck. got that. Nah, you listen, almost did. But, but listen, you didn't. If you think about the gender reveal, it's some new modern day era bullshit, bro. First, of, let me ask. No First of all, who who was the person who thought the world gave a fuck enough to know about what what kind of baby you was having? The, you you saved this to tell everybody. Like, who what, like who was the person that had us waiting? Like, and did the thing. What are they? And did the thing. I don't like when I when when I when I told motherfucker I had a baby. They like, oh. That fucked up. You ain't tell me you having a baby. I'm like, shit. Your baby self. You ain't tell me you had that motherfucker. Right. Right. I didn't know I was obligated to tell you I'm having children. Man, that's so crazy. Somebody made me their baby godfather. I ain't, I ain't seen the baby about two times. I'm the worst godfather. I, I want to see my godchildren. And they keep telling you the baby that you get godfather. Too. You ever seen a white person say, well, you know, that's his godfather. I think it's only black people who be like, that's my god, baby. I ain't never seen no white person that says, that's either your dad or he ain't. Bro. Right. Right. White people always still in the sauce. That's crazy. But anywho, we had a gender reveal, right? That's what's up. Had man. the gender reveal. 
I knew for a fact I was having a boy. Okay. My intuition. In your mind. Let me know. Bro, because when I had Nova, it was a whole nother feeling. Okay. So with this feeling, it was like she big. I'm like, boy, that baby here is going to be big as fuck. I'm like, that's a football player. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, when they hit, they bust them balloons, bro, and all them pink hearts hit the ground, bro. I was like, my intuition, that little feeling I had, that shit don't mean nothing. So at this point, I'm just happy. And, and and blessed to have a church and know that my diggling work. There you go, man. You know what I'm saying? So from this point on out, I really don't care what I have. Right. Because I already done. It's not a letdown, and I don't want people to think that just because you ain't have what you have, it's a letdown. And, and first of all, it's not up to you right. what you have. Oh, here we go. So when you have the gender reveal, it's like you put some standard on. Oh, I know what I'm having. Fuck, nigga, you don't know. So just be thankful for what you got. You dig what I'm saying? Because some folks can't have kids. So I never have a gender reveal again. Hell yeah. Hell Bullshit. yeah. Bullshit. God damn it. That's for whole ass niggas. <laughs> I'm having a gender reveal. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Tell me what I'm having. You feel me? Right this ain't now. no game. Wait three, four, eight months for you having. Nigga, the baby born next month. I still ain't bought no clothes. Because no, they want to no, have no. a what gender reveal. Is. Come on, man. Got be fucked up. People really fucking themselves out some good gifts waiting that long. Right, because nigga need to be trying, out. Need to tell somebody immediately. When you have another baby, man, it's about that time. Man, you gonna have eight, man. I, I had ten. He had eight, nigga. You old, nigga. Come on. I ain't really that old. You I just, I just be. I'm just old, older than y'all. I had a baby, man. I just got grown like two years ago. <laughs> I'm not old. I just got. I'm grown. But, you but I ain't been grown long enough to be old. If oh, that okay. makes sense. Okay. I really just so man. Still kind of like mature to look. Man, this my. This like my third year being grown oh. for real. Damn, I ain't but thirty six. Y'all won't even let me make 37. I'm everybody. Uncle OG. Nigga, I will fuck your older sister. I'm grown enough to fuck everybody in the house. Everybody who's grown can get some dick. From the mama to the auntie to the to the, the sister to the, to the to the sister who in college. The great aunt. The great aunt. I'm old enough to fuck all grown women. That's all I am. If you saw me with a young bitch, you wouldn't know how young she was because you don't know how old I am. But if they see her and see you, they gonna be like, hey, right. look at that old nigga. Come on, man. Girl. She must be keeping him happy. <laughs> Tell her she must be keeping him Right. You see me with a with a chick younger than me, she gonna be cold as a motherfucker, but she gonna be broke. I gotta have it that way so she'll need me. Them young bitches, them young bitches. You don't need, need no it. young motherfucker who young already got some it. infrastructure. <laughs> That's why these young. That's why these older women don't care nothing about that shit. They got everything. They will tell these young bitches, "Hey, finding a nigga who got everything is cool, but having everything and trying to find a nigga is almost impossible." Right. We live in Georgia. You know how many women got big old ass three story houses, two three Mercedes Benzes in there. Lonely. That big ass house is empty. Them kids is gone. She's so tired of that vibrator. Because it make the coochie numb after a certain time. <laughs> you got to put some real dick in there. So coochie she can still be moving like she on the yeah. bicycle. Yeah, ah! got to put some real meat in there so she can feel that heart beat in that vein. She need to feel a pulse sometime. Mm-mm. Yeah. Got to have a little hook. Yeah. You didn't even know you had a little, little kitten though in the back Man. of that thing. Ah, yes, sir. That's why these older about? women out here giving all this advice in the bathroom. They done fucked up all they golden years talking all that shit. I don't need no man. You goddamn right you don't. But now you want one and you can't get one because you've been lonely for the last 17 years. And you almost out of service. So the coronavirus came from lonely bitches. No, the coronavirus came from everybody getting on TikTok. Right. As soon as everybody they started posting them TikToks, they got that shit came out. Anytime a nigga do this on, on TikTok. Got coronavirus. Really? Oh. I'm so sick of that goddamn song. Which one? The damn that song they keep doing the little spin around challenge too. What, what song it is? That Ty Dollar Sign song. Everybody getting in their uh they look girl clothes. Come on, man. Oh, the flip the switch. Y'all some whole ass niggas. I hope you know that. I don't give a fuck how funny it was. You was just looking for an excuse to put that goddamn dress on. Since everybody been talking about y'all putting them dresses on and them comedy skits. Niggas gonna find a way Nigga to put that way. goddamn dress on. <laughs> Maybe niggas just like dresses. And if that's the case, say that. Nigga, if you like soft material on your skin, own that shit like a man. You talking about own that shit? You done, baby, come on, let's do the flip switch challenge. Go put your dress on. Because that's the only thing I can fit. How the fuck you know what you can fit in your girl closet, nigga? You put it on before. You didn't put it on before. My little girl did a prank on me the other day. Oh, come on. She put some makeup on my face. You, yeah. You're a girl, dad. You got to be the mannequin sometime. But no, 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 that's the first and last. 
Cause I had to tell her daddy don't wear makeup. Oh. You was ugly. Now you can be you can be my barber. You was ugly with that shit. I out. look I look like uh, uh, uh Jamie Foxx on Jamie Cole. Wonder looking man. <laughs> then I woke up, I was like, baby, why did y'all play a prank on me? It was hilarious though, but I was She like, laughed. Yeah, she was laughing. I was like, hey, right, you done started some shit. Now it's my turn. Oh. Play, play stupid, y'all. Already ball head. Let me go ahead and skin that side right quick. <laughs> hey, man, I be trying to read Chad notes. He be putting shit on here he think we give a fuck about. A the only up. thing I give a fuck about, I got to say this, because this is America's favorite villain, Future. This nigga had a child support tr uh, charge dropped against him. A child support claim. That nigga was dropped. This is the greatest nigga that there ever was, man. My nigga, that's Future. Bro, nah, nigga, that's a future. Let's just dedicate a few minutes to future because. Oh, hit the bluff, future. Uh, hold on, I'm about to roll one. Hey, hit it. We got more weed. Okay. Well, look. First of all, My what's, what's, finna get what's some of your favorite future lyrics? What? Took a shot at Henny, I've been going crazy, crazy. <laughs> you know Told what? Told my whole look at it on the next day. What'd he say? I know we all let this talk, let this talk. Oh, you know we all let this dick talk. Why don't he drink in it? Man, the first future lyric that come to my mind is, got my baby mama and my side bitch kissing. That nigga oh, that is the hard. greatest. That was hard. Come on, man. Turn a five-star yeah, hotel mama, to a trap house. Kiss. Roaches everywhere like we forgot to take the trash out. Right, because we did. Oh, my Cause God. Because when you forgot to take that trash out, you left that trash out, it like 90 of that ass right up under that bitch. Man, this nigga they got some of the most toxic, beautiful songs I ever heard. Ratchet ass bitch, I'm trying to fuck you right now. I ain't even gonna lie, boy. When that nigga crossed over, he was like, you know water. why the streets embrace that though? Why? Cause that's kind of like the first mainstream, like love dope boy, from a dope boy love song. Hey, Not saying it ain't been no love, like. Oh, like they expect a lot. Like we, we yeah. know what the fuck. It's L O V E E E E and a fender. And he got. Motherfucker, you know, and he, he put Rihanna it. on it. Man, Rihanna man. is oh, like she right. The, I don't know. She like ghetto royalty. Like some people just up there on she that like wall. A ghetto, a ghetto royalty, like Monica, right up there. She, you got, you got a first person. We I got think those. Of. We got those Aretha Franklin from the hood. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Monica is definitely like right. But you, you know who up, else up there? Up, Miss Elliot. Fantasia too. I was gonna say Fantasia. You know what? Fantasia went over that slump. Folk, she looked so good, and folk forgot that she didn't know how to read. It just was like, you know what? Damn, she don't know how to read. Hey, you know what? She can sing. How I, I tell her the words. You feel me? Don't worry about it. I tell you, tell you, tell you. It said this. God will. This how much I love Fantasia. Save the <laughs> way. I wish she wouldn't have never said that. I wish, I wish she, she would have never publicly said that. I wish she never said that. Cause, Man, I, cause it's just a like, lot of people that don't know how to read. Man. It's a lot of people. I don't, don't know, how know how if read. it's necessarily not knowing how to read, but I think it's like reading out loud. Yeah, cause you can read in your head fast and full. Right. And she'd be like, right. you read out loud, you be like, that word you said in your head really wasn't the word. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this would be the perfect time <laughs> for me to shout out all the niggas that don't know how to spell. I'm talking about all my niggas that struggle that me. with spelling. I don't know how to spell, but I'm, I'm I can read like a bitch. Man, you know what? I'll I be just reading can't your remember tweets. how that word that I just said. I don't know how to spell it. I be reading your tweets and I be thinking you be doing this shit on purpose. I'm like, oh, he's speaking that gangster shit. Uh, <laughs> I be dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> I be out there reading. How you, how you know hit? how to spell on the iPhone, nigga? Cause my phone's stupid. Oh, <laughs> my phone damn near I'm, is me. I'm glad they ain't sell me that one. Nah, my phone. Cause you gotta think about it. If you keep spelling shit on your phone, your phone go damn near. Adapt to how you is. All right. You see what I'm saying? Let me see. Hey, man, everything going on in the world. Coronavirus, first of all, got everything canceled. All the shows is on pause right now. I don't know when we going to goddamn resume. We got to get this virus under control. Right. And when I say we, I'm talking to the American people, specifically the African American people, because I feel like y'all going to listen to me different. To all my to all my people out there who ducking this virus, doing the best you can, you trying to piece this money together because, they, you know what I'm saying, you don't know right. what the fuck going on. These are times. You rock around. Uh, of change. uncertainty right now. Shit crazy, Yo, go man. Blunt, man. Get your tissue, man. Get your get your get your weed, man. Get all that necessity together, man. We don't know what the fuck these niggas got going on. Right. I bought a whole bunch of I bought some old books. 
Damn. Well, you got to do that, too. I just wanted to give a shout out to the black community right it now. Hurt nobody. I'm just protecting myself. That's all. Because there's I'm not a lot of word. platforms out there right now that's going to be able to reach the community the way that the 85 South Show reaches the community. And I want everybody to just stay diligent and keep your faith in God. This is the time that we're going to buckle down and read from the Old Testament. More right definitely. Now. We're not because, we, you know, the New Testament is the New Testament. Mm -hmm. But right now, we're going through a very challenging time. Stay prayed up, stay moving. Mm -hmm. You got to stay prayed up and you got to stay moving. You see how one conversation about future brought us around the whole neighborhood? Like now, now look at where we are. And I that just lets you know Christ. the Oof. greatness of future. Yes, America's favorite bad guy. The memes are hilarious. All those ones of him texting the girl to fake shit. Yeah. Shit, ride like a broke. Yeah. What else going on? Idris Elba got the shit. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant got the shit. Kevin Durant got that Shut shit. That's why it's hell been like he been had it, Shut up. man. Shut up. That's why it's hell like that, Shut man. The fuck up, man. Damn, KD. You ain't know he had the shit. The shit. The Corona been right here. We been. It's been right down. Damn, KD. KD. Rudy Gobert got the shit. Donovan Mitchell. Drake had to get quarantined after hanging with KD, according to Drake. shit on the internet. This is, the, look. Drake, you too. This is just shit off the internet, man. And none of, the, right there. We, why none we of this shit it? might be true. We don't know. KD had that shit right there. You know, Forrest, Forrest Whitaker, too? Shut <laughs> the fuck up, DC. These people don't have that shit. <laughs> Damn, Andres. You play too much, man. Tom Hanks got the shit. Him and his lady got it together. Well, you know, he was on cocaine when he did the flight. That, that, not For real? that was uh Denzel, but you know the other one. Man, you got you got to take some type of drill to be a pilot. I think the pilots got that shit. Come too. on, man, don't scare me like that. But you know what, people you always be a real nigga to, put, to carry eighty niggas in the sky. I don't give a fuck. You got to be a real nigga to carry all these lives <laughs> in the nigga. You a you a alien. You you confident as hell. I want to have confidence like a pilot. That's why I tell a nigga you want to be able to walk through Earth. With the confidence of a pilot. You know what type of confidence that is? To go up in the sky with a hundred other niggas' lives and they all depending on you to. You close that little door and kind of forget they own that bitch. Nigga, you know yeah. what type of mindset you gotta be? What? That's why they. Okay! That's why they gotta be drunk or something. All something, bro. You ain't time. no normal nigga, bro. Ain't no normal nigga like, well, I just wanna go fly. Come on, y'all wanna go fly with me? No. I don't even like getting a nigga car. That's they why they don't you show like you that. the pilot to the end of the flight. Right. And nigga be like that. It always a weird nigga. <laughs> hi. Hi. Did you enjoy your flight? Uh, uh, uh. He be like, boy, you high here. Come on, man. The other nigga be high here. He don't never want you to see him, though. He always be sending the... Like, That's funny that you brought up the cocaine uses amongst the pilots. Because people always shame the cocaine uses. Right. And I mean, I don't, I'm not saying that I condone them. I just didn't know it was so many people on cocaine. I did. Some of your favorite people are cocaine addicts. And it's okay, man. Functioning cocaine. You see how we right now? I'm, I'm doing weed. Sometimes. Don't come, don't say it's us because you don't want to hint that. Hell no! Nah, I'm saying it's, it's one not of your us. favorite person doing cocaine. Not me. Like I have doing weed. never done cocaine. I thought about it. I haven't. My nose is too big to be on anything you got to put in your nose. But see, when you when you around that shit, that's why. It, it's like when you around it so much, it's around. Mm -hmm. And you got to think about it. If people around you do it, some people around you are influential. That's why you got to have a strong mind to be like, oh, no, nigga. I'm a, like, a lot of people around me drink alcohol. And I, I'm strong. I, bitch, you put a bottle to my lip, but you allowed to get hit in the throat. But see, you that's, what I, that's why I don't fuck with the alcohol like that. Because I seen how it make motherfuckers act. Right. And I know what I have to deal with when I have to deal with people who drink. And I know that they wouldn't deal with me like that. Right. You get what I'm saying? So I, I stay the fuck away from that shit. Plus, I grew up around a lot of alcoholics who really just turned me off of that shit. That whole Yeah, I don't alcoholic like when motherfuckers get drunk. They get drunk, act like they don't know where they at, get loud. They can't goddamn comprehend what's, what's going your, on. What's your least favorite kind of drunk person? A drunk nigga who get emotional and loud and aggressive. Violent. The violent motherfucker. Yeah. I don't like that. Because outside of the alcohol, but you a nice guy. You yeah, wouldn't even do that. See, that's the worst one. You wouldn't even do that. You but you know, that I don't like the motherfucker who get drunk and act like they don't know what the fuck they doing. Like, you drunk, but you still got them. Wait. No, no, no. Ain't doing wrong. Right. Ain't doing oh, okay, wrong. okay. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit down. All right. All right. All right. All right. 
or in me. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody else perfect, right? Oh. Everybody perfect and I'm fucked up. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. He's saying it what everybody thinks. I'm oh, sorry. I'm on too much alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold my look. <laughs> they always say I'm loud. <laughs> I'm like, he's saying oh. everything we think. Oh, I'm I'm drunk. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm I'm drunk. Uh huh. Why like, everybody wanna argue with me? Okay. On the shit stuff. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. okay. I'm cool out. I'm cool out. I'm cool out. Mm-hmm. I'm cool out. Then yeah, I wanna out. hit the kid hard. Oh, you did the homework. Boy, hey. Get your ass on. Fuck hey. wrong with you. Let me say something else. One last day. Hey. Okay. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man. I'm on medication, okay. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I know what I'm, I know what I'm on. I know. Hey, don't worry about that. See, I can't See, do that. But that's why I never that. really didn't really too much give a fuck about folk who was on the cocaine because my my brother was on the cocaine and uh-huh. he never really would trip. He would just get like just hype, like sweating and just. Whatever you gonna, whatever you even do it, if it do that shit times ten to the end. You know the worst thing about why being around high somebody on, on cocaine the is they don't did. never stop moving. They, they move so much it make you tired. Like you know, like you know, they always moving like they get ready to go somewhere. They'll just keep bouncing around. Come on, man. Yeah, I'm like, man Nigga, the my brother, down. my brother get high, bro, and play the drums at the church for like thirty minutes. Nigga, solo, nigga. They have to grab this nigga. Bro, be that bitch. And one thing about my brother, kid, that's why it was all right, because he could play. Like, bro, bro could play for Irwin. Five years. But we won't quit. Nigga, nigga, how you like? They're like, all right, all right, ma. He's like, hallelujah, praise him. Won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go grab this nigga, bro. Stop playing the drum, bro. I'm like, bro, bro, had that beat turned, bro. Going crazy. That's it. They told us that he had to go to. That's it, man. Too much. School clothes. What? All of them. Ain't nobody in school right now. Who can... They better be saving They trying to do school online. I'm just going through the coronavirus <laughs> list. Trying to do school online. Hey, what you think about the government saying they might send some checks out? That's a lie. That's a goddamn <laughs> lie. I knew, I told That'd my That'd people down. Man, I, I'm just waiting on the check. Ain't no check. Ain't no motherfucking check. That's how you know this shit bad. They trying to send hush money. Think about job it. ain't even paying you, nigga. Why, why would they just send you some money for just cause? And they only want to send us reparations. Come on, man. Why would That's they why we ain't some- inviting nobody to the studio. It's just us. We about to ask some of these motherfuckers to leave. You did. I don't know if they got it. Mm-mm. Who got that shit? I don't know. Hey, man, I fuck Fantasia, too. I don't want her to talk I, about Man, when, I, why you... I was thinking the same shit. Cause I don't, I don't <laughs> know if she can't read. That's just what they say. I believe she can. I don't give can. a fuck if I mean, she can. I mean, at the end of the day, I she's don't done give enough, a fuck. I, she's done enough <laughs> that I appreciate. I can read. She, I can read. So I can ever, read too. I don't give a damn. I'm not, I, and I'm gonna tell her what it say. Exactly what it said. I ain't gonna put no cut card or nothing on. I'm gonna tell her straight what it say. Fantasia, this is how much you want to get paid because they did. They said you are required to sing this song and that song. You know what required means, right? That you have to do that. <laughs> oh, shout out to her brother. Her brother watched the show. For real? Yeah. What's up, y'all, Nick? Yeah, Rico. What's pop with it? Yeah, nah, I fuck with Fantasia, man. I was rooting for her ever since day one. Man, I love me some Fantasia and Bojangles. It's just them, them two together. She's the only go person together. that really can sing, sing, if you really want to. <clears throat> church, I, 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 any song she want to sing, a nigga could cry to. Oh, you know my new favorite singer? Who? New woman favorite singer? Who? Motherfucking Ari Lennox. Mm. That's who my they? new favorite one. Who are they? Yeah, Pee Pee Pay. Ari who? Ari Lennox. Ari Lennox. That's my new favorite woman I'm tell you, singer. I'm going to tell, tell, <clears> tell you, the shot of fire too. Who? I'm going to go to my man. She fat. Who? She fat. I'm gonna go to my library. Hold up, okay. artist. Her name is um. Her name um. Uh, hold up. Her. I like Summer Walker too. Oh, Summer Walker been going crazy. Yeah. Sometimes I just ride around and listen to that song. Just might be a hoe, just so I can understand. Uh, you know a hoe's point of view. I listen to Sade too. I listen to Sade. Sade is like. beautiful and amazing. And she wrote all those songs about me. Them songs when me George and Sade Smith. in the car. Mm. 
she talking to me. I fucked up. I love and she put a forgiveness spirit in my heart. For real. Yeah. Georgia Smith, she's beautiful. Georgia Smith, and amazing. I love that song. That. Who are, who's some more of your other favorite lady singers? <laughs> some more of your favorite lady singers. Uh, 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 that go crazy. Doja, Doja Cat. Cat got that that one good song I like. That uh, she got she, a couple like, of them. I ain't really just laid it laid it down to that um that uh. She got that bad, bad song. That's some shit like that. She she said, if you think it's I thought that her, I thought it was Dana Lake. She said, if you think it's juicy from the front, wait till you see it from, from the, the back. back. Right. That's what I said. She said shit. It's just hearing her say shit like that. When the bitch, see, that's what I like. See, I like when the pussy be rolled from the back. Man. I'm going to turn the bitch up and that bitch be like, <laughs> I didn't want to say this, but y'all brought up big asses and stuff. I got to salute Meg the Stallion because she's a <laughs> She is amazing. Who making the stage? I love that little hood. She like that fine look girl. Every time she be like, "What's up?" She be like, "What's up?" What's up? What's up? What's up? You be like, "This bitch, I love that hoe. I love that hoe." <laughs> love her. Love that gangster hood shit. Oh, you, you know another one of my too. favorite latest singers, Who? Adele. Adele go. Adele go yeah, crazy. I fuck with Adele. I fuck with Adele. It's a lot of them. Erica a lot of them go crazy. I, I fuck with Erica so hard. Beyonce. I fuck with Lauren. Lauren. I fuck with Beyonce. I'm been a Beyonce fan. For real. Hell yes, sir. Uh, Real nigga shit. Child. What's your when favorite fighting, Beyonce they fighting song, nigga? And it's about being who gonna be the best. We gotta leave. We gotta get personal, man. This might be my, it, my favorite Beyonce. Your favorite Beyonce song. <laughs> With the Destiny Child by herself. Nigga, it's a Beyonce song. It's a Beyonce song. Nah. Just well, uh, solo. Solo. Yeah. I'm. 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 I'm gonna still have to go. It's. It ain't hers. It ain't her song. What is it? Listen, of Dream Girl. Murk that bitch. Oh, okay. Murk, listen. I don't know if this. She really took the three fifty seven <laughs> and put that motherfucker right between the eye. <laughs> Boom! Murk that bitch. Listen, I am alone at the Corolla Road. Man, what? Nigga I had the MP three. The bitch used to be banging in my ear. Nigga, I used to be, in, I used to be old emotional ass kid. <laughs> listen. Oh yeah, I'm alone at the shit. I love this song. Well, what? She burnt that bitch. Man, yo, yeah, crazy. She burnt that bitch. She burnt that bitch. <clears throat> now, here you go, your mic. Who you, who you, who you, what you, what your, what favorite Beyonce? My favorite, that one, um, I don't know if this is the name of Me, Myself, and I. That's me, all I got in there. That I'm shit hard. hard. That shit hard. And it ain't no need to cry. That shit hard. I'm going to be my own best friend. Me, myself, and I. Just, just love yourself. Fuck love you, goddamn self. Yeah, I yeah. fuck with that one. She yeah. did that thing. Yeah. But you know what? I, I, I always fuck with Destiny Child because it was like, they let Beyonce do they do the lead, but it was like the Destiny Child always had that empowerment to be like, oh look, don't don't forget about us. Like every time they step back in, whether it was the hook or Kevin had to come out, they still was like, you still need them, cause without them, it still can't be no you. You feel me? Cause you can sing, but them harmonizing and them being in the background help you too. You see what I'm saying? That's why Destiny Child was so big. Right. Cause even when Michelle came in, everybody knew Michelle didn't fit. Everybody knew that. Everybody knew it was just. Like, and people talk so bad about Michelle. They were just like, well, she, look at her. She don't even know how to dance. She don't even know how to dance. Then she fucked around and fell a few times. But Michelle was cool. But it was like what Disney Child brought. It was that edginess. You feel? Yeah. And everybody knew her from like churchy. You yeah. feel? In the gospel. I think she earned. She she definitely earned a spot after she did her verse on K to the U. She should have got way more respect. She did. But what, what it was like real small. What her part on K to the U? It was like. Out of you. Yeah, the shit at the last little stanza, she killed that shit. Yeah, she killed that shit. You are stupid, man. That's why you can't smoke with DC, man. You don't never know what's gonna make this nigga fall out, bro. Hey, <laughs> how Paul was on that cut? They were like, everybody was like, okay, Michelle, I'm, okay, okay, because they gave her a little. Hey, man. They gave her a little ensemble. You feel me? And everybody was like, all right, we see. Why I feel like that was what they said in the <laughs> yeah. studio while she was doing it. They were like, okay, okay. all right. I see why we fuck with you. Okay, Michelle. Right. They going to respect you, bitch. They right. going to respect you. I thought you. she was going to get way more respect. No, nah, but she did. She did earn her spot, though. It was cool. Right. She did earn her spot. But nah, man, this shit be so crazy. Because you know, I be fucking around on the internet all the time, man. One night, I was just on live talking shit. And right. CC Peniston jumped in. I was like, hell no, CC. 
old school singer, man. Like not an old school, but she probably got to be nice, Cece. Yeah, she, her name. Cece. She pro- probably right around the time you was born. Yeah, because I was, because you know, my my era, they always Chill put Lil in front of their name. Yeah. Cece Peniston. Yeah, Cece Peniston. Yeah. Course. Come to the stage CC Penniston She did the Apollo a few times Right Rock that bitch though For real Rock, I'm talking about CC Penniston Yeah pull up I got a little cool Come on man CC Penniston I've been on my Teddy lately Who? Teddy Teddy P Man what? Cause if you, hey man If you, if, if you want to calm America down Just Turn off the light <laughs> And like it came, you can't be mad on no shit like that. <laughs> that shit be in the back like <laughs> you love it. Turn off the lights. I wonder what they're gonna say next week about this shit. Like it came you know, hey, don't be out here hugging motherfuckers <laughs> either. For real, bro. This shit gonna be crazy, bro. <laughs> Hey man, somebody hit me on Twitter and was like, "Hey Los, you should just you know do a live stream and charge people for it." I was like, "Man, we, don't be at home trying to find me some shit to do." We, we ain't gonna be taking nobody. <laughs> we ain't gonna be taking I'm the people good, money man. like that. Like what? What we? They already see it on YouTube. So why would we be like, "Hey right, man, y'all pay to see this shit?" Bro, I would literally probably go crazy like the Joker if I had to fucking sit there and tell jokes to myself with no audience. Stop. That'd probably be the one thing that make me snap and be like, "Hi, people! My name's Carlos. You want to hear a joke? Why did the rabbit run across the street? Wow! <laughs> I'm talking about that to really make a nigga have to go to the loony bin. Okay, welcome back, folks. Are we still there? Give me a dollar. Give me your money. We're still here, 32 hours in. Ha ha! Crack him up, Carlos Miller live stream. I'll never go to another comedy club in my fucking life. Can't do it, bro. I refuse to make somebody laugh. Tonight, right Batman, up. meet me in Gotham City. You go on. No, man. Don't fucking subject me that to that. That shit drive you crazy. I would lose it. And now you get you in there looking. Now you got to pause your, your stand up set to read the comments. <laughs> they laughing. Right, you, you like that joke? All right, I'm going to say it again. Oh. And plus, I want like, to I gotta yeah, give a message no. to the entertainers, man. All the people who, you know, make funnies and laughter and jokes and humor and sketches and shit on social media. Don't let people pressure you into doing anything. Because if the shit ain't funny, they're going to say you play too fucking much and you need to be sensitive. <laughs> this is a very trying time to be aiming for the humor. So whatever right. you've been sitting on, just know that that shit might not work and you could catch backlash now. <laughs> It might be a little too early to drop your coronavirus sketch. We don't know what this shit gonna do yet. But at the end of the day, drop that shit. Hey, man. <laughs> Bro. Drop that shit so you can talk about your ass. Fuck wrong, dude. Man, man, this shit kind of... Hey, man, we laughing this shit just to keep from crying and shit. But we really don't know what this shit will do. Man, I'm about to scared, man. Got a hundred thousand niggas that just like me. We ain't scared. We feel not. I feel not. I walk by faith. You dig mm-hmm. what I'm okay. saying, man? Let go, man. What, 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 what? We done came over so much shit. We free. We ain't got chains on them. They, they chain, but they ain't chains on them. You hear me? So what, 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 what we ain't already been through? That we That's why we fuck. smoking weed, just to keep the... Because I heard THC attached to the virus. Mm-hmm. I'm still smoking the other blunt, DC. Which right. one, man? Good, man. Yeah, I don't know. Cause you know the young nigga like me, but I don't give a fuck about none of that. Right. It's a whole bunch of other So you just gonna like intimidate me. the virus? Man, intimidate the every time a nigga cop. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Clear your throat. <clears throat> but get the mucus out. Come on now. Spit that shit in the soil. Drink, soul. drink some. Spit it in the soil. Don't let don't tell any keep spit spit that shit in the soil. Fucking crazy, man. They tell you, you got to, they trying to, you know what I'm saying? They trying to quarantine the virus. How you do it? You put it in the soil. This is my real, this is my only question, though. Nigga, what part of the game are we in? Nigga, what level are we on? Bro, we on like. Nigga, we ducking airborne illness. Bro. This shit is too hard. We living in, we, we living on that, e, you seen that, that book of Eli, bro? <laughs> it gonna be robots in there, We gonna be running from robots and shit. You think, bro, what do we have to fight robots, bro? It's over with. Are Once we, McDonald called out, you know the world coming to the end. Well, McDonald be like, bro, we done. You like, but <laughs> if move one, one make a D go down. This how I knew shit had got real, bro. When they told Magic City to close, they told Magic City to close. 
Yeah, see, sometimes them hoes, them probably, them, all them hoes probably had coronavirus. <laughs> them hoes in Miami shaking ass. I ain't no telling who <laughs> got coronavirus. They just ain't telling nobody. Hey, yo, they got coronavirus. We gotta hey, shut this shit down. I said this on the show before. This what happen when motherfuckers go too many places. Right. But they, all that goddamn hanging out. You been to Vegas, Miami, L.A., all up in spring and break. All the people, and all all the people star, that came out, Chicago, yo. Detroit, motherfuckers. Motherfucker moving around too much. A lot of ugly motherfuckers. Come on, man. Can I get a hood? I'm about right here. Okay. Hey, man. He got a good hood. He got a coronavirus. Hey, man. This ain't got shit to do with that. But I just thought about it, nigga. When you posted a lady who thought we were talking about her little arm, nigga, that shit had me falling out all over again, nigga. He said, hell up. My friend want to show y'all some shit. Say, bow. <laughs> and who to say that wasn't going on the back? Come on. <laughs> That's fucked up. Well, this shit coming out of shape before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we had the best people come to our show, man. You ought to see the people that we don't fuck with. <laughs> people be taking screenshots of the 85 South Show last show. Like, nigga, how y'all miss this nigga? Like, bro. What about the white lady who came to the show? He said, look like she want to fuck for ice cream. <laughs> How we know she got coronavirus? She probably did. Hey, bro. If we could run that clip, that's probably one of the funniest moments ever. So bro. would I have sex with ice cream? Bro, hilarious, bro. And that time when that lady got mad when, 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 we, when we was at the meeting greet. <laughs> she was like, she wasn't on heaven said lady, but she was like, be it with like no neck, kind of like. And she was hugging us, and the cameraman took the picture real fast. He was like, all right. So she didn't really get a chance to smile. <laughs> she was like, God damn. Oh shit. Hey man, stop. Oh, you making me choke on the weed, man. Man, give me some hand sanitizer, bro. Oh, bro, she was so bad. Bro. Oh, shit. I she forgot about so that bad. later. That shit was so bad, bro. I oh. thought I was over there and caught it, but me and Roy caught that shit while I was rolling. What? Bro, we have some demanding ass people. Bro, we, I, bro, I love our fam, bro. Cause they, they like real niggas, bro. Because like, they wouldn't do that to nobody else. Chad, they would. I don't give a fuck who they is. We, bro, our fans want to do what they do to us with nobody else. Period. They feel like they, they be know us. They grabbing on me coming, DC. I'm like, girl, you would not do that. They feel like they know us. I love y'all too, man. You know what? We different, bro. Like, we different. We just different. Right. We niggas. We just different. That's that nigga shit. That's, that shit come with the game. I think it's because they know we, like, we smart enough to know when to be niggas. Too. Right. Like, we, like, you know, we have enough street side. Enough education. Right. Like, they, they trust us. Because they like us. Like, they graduated. Right. They could have went to school, but they were like, fuck that shit. You right. know what I'm saying? So they like. Niggas who went to college went to and didn't finish. Cause, cause Chico went to school. He finished. He finished. Right. I right. went, but I ain't finished. Me too. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was like, fuck that. I had shit. other shit to do. Six months. I was like, man, come on, man. Yeah. Y'all don't want to keep me here for a I stuck around long as I could, man. I just had life to live. I had to get fuck on. They weren't trying to give me no dorm no more. They're like, but you got to stay on your own shit. I never had no dorm. I'm glad I missed all that. Nah, ain't gonna lie. That's lit. Staying at school, the pussy is there. It is. There. At the school. Food three times a day. But I lived up the street from my school, so the pussy was there. So you were thugging. See, I actually traveled. I went down like two hours away from the hood. What? That's why I know, like, in my former life, I was a lion or some shit. Because I always like to drag my shit back to the crib. Really? Like, I don't want no... I don't like street pussy. Why? Because I like to fuck at home. Oh, yeah. See, me, I, I ain't never had no home, so... <laughs> I see, I understand. <laughs> we fucking did street. <laughs> right, that's probably why me and you get along so good. Because we're from the same part, just like... I'm from the, like, this side, you from, like, that side. Right, it's just old fit. Yeah. I always saw y'all be like... Damn, I don't want to play with their toys. <laughs> right. You got to keep in mind, nigga. We've been grinding since the first day outside. Did. I was talking about outside. We were sitting outside when I was like, so what this shit is again? Man, I'm talking, I'm talking about, about for real. We were sitting in some, some, some lawn chair, but in the middle of a, we was in the middle of a building. I think that was Steve Harvey's spot. Right. Outside, really thick. 
Right. Yeah, the office complete. Oh, what yeah. that spot was it? Cause that wasn't the actual office. That was his studio, but it was like they had like a, a courtyard. A courtyard. Yeah. Right. We ain't never go over that like that. Nah, yeah, nah. Cause yeah, he's <coughs> humble. We was always in the spots where we was. Man, that's what I'm there. saying. Like people gonna look at this shit and think we need something, but they just don't understand. We fuck with this out of the comfort. Nah, real talk. Yeah, we this is really the every opportunity. This the trip. But we we adapt to our surroundings, man. If you saw what we did out this bitch, and what, like you can see what we what we did out of here, we literally came in this bitch and trapped this bitch out this bitch and sold out, out arenas. Yes, sir. We started out trapping, selling nicks and dimes, gave it some time, and now we're on our ninth or ten time around, selling out arenas, hitting different cities, hitting girls with different penis, every other time you see us talking that shit, it's the 85 South, so you bucking mouth, bitch, when it came on YouTube, it became your favorite, every time you see an episode, you click that bitch and play it, leaving comments, you got a screen name. You talking shit. People following you on Facebook and Twitter. Ignorant. You all in the 85 South group posting memes. Old pictures of me and DC and everything. And we don't mean no harm. But please stop poaching the pictures of us at prom with some bitches we don't fuck with. Them hoes, they probably married. And anytime you see it, I click it, but I don't like it. Goddamn, you niggas hating on the low. You act like you don't like the show, but every time you hit me, you say when we dropping some more. DC up on the hook and Lowski gonna spit the rhymes. 85 South Show. I said that like 80 times. In the motherfucking trap house. House. Hey, what we motherfucking rap about? <laughs> DC, bring the beat back because I got some more shit I'm going to say before I leave, Jack. 85 South Show. The tour is coming soon. As soon as the coronavirus leave, we going to be where you at. In your city grabbing titties, probably pulling up with some chicks and hoping they be pretty. We need to plug with a barber. Who the weed man? Who can Cato? Do you understand that we need amenities in these different cities? We gon' always shout out all the different size titties. Yeah. Wanted to say in the old man voice before I left. That was the whole point of that whole second verse. He's gonna say something in the old man voice. You know what? That shit is good, man. You know how I know I'm high? Because I didn't even crack this weed that I had. You know, <laughs> and I got some gushes over here. Yeah, we brought gushes. Gushes are back in the city. They running around. You know. Yes, sir. Man. Some good happy weed. I appreciate that the, the corona ain't fuck with the uh with the weed out here. <laughs> but see they knew we knew. Uh, nigga told me, hey boy, I got that corona. I had see, to stock up. I had to stock up. I was scared to, you know, really just well, run out of weed. Cause I don't think this is the the worst part of it yet. This ain't the worst part of it. Mm -mm. This is the earliest days, man. This is, you know what I'm saying? It's not that. It's just that sometimes you just got to know when the fuck to know when the fuck. You That's know? why I know when the fuck to get out the way. Yeah. But still do what the fuck I want to do. Exactly. People be like, I'm staying in the house. Good. That means I can go out here and handle my business because that means you ain't outside. With your sick ass. With your sick ass. Ain't nothing mm -hmm. going on. Look at everybody. Look at all these white folks that's still right. outside. They gon' in the five years we gonna find out this gonna come from everybody not wiping their ass good. Yep. Like as a as a nation. A lot of people wipe their ass and don't do shit. But as a nation, that's probably what this all goes back to. Everybody not wiping their ass good enough. Shit crazy out here, man. You know what's going on in the corona, bro? Everybody, that's why all the tissue gone. Cause <laughs> it's this a nigga is, who ain't got nothing going on, mad here that the corona the corona fucking up everything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you wasn't about to do shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't gonna do nothing anyway. <laughs> what you got going on? Fuck that corona, bro. Ah! Niggas don't wanna be mad. Fuck that corona, bro. So sick of this shit. Like, bro, you ain't got nigga. <laughs> hey, what corona gonna change their name to? Cause this shit ain't gonna work no more after this. I tell you, bro. After the corona, they gotta be. Bro, ain't nothing but the flu, bro. It's more than that. Who died? Yeah, old died. motherfuckers, bro. All the old people. And the babies and shit. Some gotta give, man.
I heard it's about a hundred motherfuckers around here with the shit. Yeah, there's a hundred motherfuckers around here with some other shit. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <a> thousand. <laughs> the Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> then we really just call them niggas the Walking Dead. <laughs> now that's <laughs> fucked up. Now that's even, fucked up. Even, <laughs> even I admit that's fucked up. <laughs> Some of these niggas out here are the walking dead, though. And they go, well, we have a full-blown crisis, and y'all want to go, this ain't nothing new to the city. Oh, that's why niggas ain't paying. What? <laughs> Coronavirus? Nigga, I know niggas with plenty of viruses. But what? Y'all told her three weeks ago this motherfucker was full of viruses, but and now we're supposed to get scared again. Of corona? <laughs> Man, you crazy. This nigga here, he got 80. Oh, shit. Well, we ain't oh. Niggas out here is infected. <laughs> Talking about Corona. Like, what? We ain't saying no Corona. <laughs> That's <laughs> all you got. <laughs> niggas taking child support. <laughs> Nigga, I'm taking everything. But you talking about coronavirus. What's so many viruses down here, but you tripping. Oh, my God. Talking about Corona? That's the least of our words. Shit. And that's what makes it, it, re- it really Corona is happening us because it's making motherfuckers go in the house. Like, but Corona done took all them full ass Shit. to sleep. I don't want to go nowhere. I don't know what the fuck going on outside, bro. Real talk. The air is a little different. Hey, man. The air is a little different. Hey, what that was right there, though? Oh. What? I don't know. You just got to be on your shit. Oh. <laughs> hey, man, fuck you, bro. <laughs> Real, but you don't know what's going on. In other news, what, is that? what else happened? Let's get some, let's read some comments, man. We always love to show love to oh, the people. Shit. This is a white lady. It got to be Carolina Reese. Yeah, <laughs> trailer park. This with some Wi-Fi. How does that work? She probably a black lady that's a nurse somewhere. We sorry. We just we just projecting and assuming. I told you so. I came in and be gonna be. She said this podcast is for everybody who ain't take the coronavirus seriously until they cancel the NBA season, nigga. Oh man, how you feel about that, DC? I got tired watching that anyway. You ain't nothing. You ain't telling nothing but the Nah, I'm just bullshitting. Nah, real talk. Bro, for them to stop the NBA game, that is absurd. I never heard no shit like that ever in my life. Niggas even watch the D-League play. You can stop them niggas from playing. Don't nobody care about them. Right. But you stop the actual league, bro, from playing? Whole shit. I ain't, I ain't never seen no shit like that. That's Black how you know shit real. Play. That's how you know shit real. And that's real money. You done paid these for millions of dollars. They got to play. Felicia Williams say the coronavirus got her in the house eating all the snacks and drinking all the Capri Sun. You better save them. Eating all the snacks and drinking, drinking all, all the Capri, Capri Sun. Saving yeah, yeah. your snacks and drinking all them Capri Sun. Oh, we got to get this one. We got to get this one, DC. What Check this it? out. You're going to love this shit. What is that? The nigga Morris Stanback said he out on bond. The coronavirus postponed his court date. Hey, my nigga got he got time to run, honey. No, nah, don't run, man. You got time to get your money right. So hey, when man, you go to you court. Know folk got your ass, but your ass better run, honey. Hey, man, if you out on bond and you got to go to court, just make sure when you go to court, have that money. You know them folks want that money. Take this time to get your money up. Don't go back in that courtroom without no lawyer and without no money. But if you know you ain't got no lawyer and no money, you better run, honey. Stop giving people bad advice, man. No, you told them what's right. But I'm going to take on. Listen, I'm going to let the nigga know. No, man. But yeah, better run. What is wrong with you, dog? You listen. Nah, I'm just playing. If I do it the right way, but don't run. Don't bro. fucking run. Don't Especially run. Especially about some little shit, bro. Like suspended license, bro. Don't, don't some be bullshit, no some petty misdemeanor shit. Nigga, act like he don't run from the police for some serious shit. He might run. be. No, see, that's the what thing. Looking for you. This Spend 85 life. South Show audience is real diverse. This nigga might be on felony, felony probation or something. I don't know. Handle your business, my nigga. Man, my partner did that shit. Ran from the police. Ran from the police. I said, bro, he like, bro, I'm on the run, bro. I said, what you on the run for? Tell him suspended license. I said, bro, I'm finna, I'm finna call him for myself and turn you in. What the fuck wrong with you, man? Why'd you run from the police on suspended license? You can't drive nowhere. You stay, man. You can't go nowhere. Take your stupid ass on and go on and do that little punk ass time. Ain't number three day. Hey, man, some people can't afford to do that. We, they can we ain't telling them about it. I'm just saying, I had to tell you. Some niggas you know, can't stomach shit. to do that. You know what I mean? Man, fuck that. Nigga, them three days gonna go by so fast, bro. Ain't nobody gonna know your ass gone. Three days a day, man. Three days is three motherfucking Man, days. that's just like my other little partner, right? He say, bro, I'm about to go turn myself in, bro. Y'all nigga, say a prayer for me. 
I called him. I'm like, damn, but ain't know you finna turn yourself in. I said, how long you gotta go do? So I gotta go do 15 days. I said, but ain't nobody finna say no prayer for you, man. Yeah, they are. Man, if you don't, bro, y'all do them 15 days and bring your dumb ass. What you need to prayer for? See, 15 you, days. You, so depending on what his charge was, depending on you, was gonna give him the. No, cause he made it. He made it like he wanted us to feel something. Like, bro, y'all hold it down for me, bro. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, bro. You gonna do 15 days and go home? That nigga had to. He was doing 15 days for arguing too loud in Section Trippin'. 8 housing. Him and his baby mama got into it. This nigga would stop yelling at McDonald's. They took it goofy head to jail. This is like dumb shit. Now I understand you gotta go do some months. It's like, all right, bro, make sure you you fed my nigga. I'm gonna put some on your book. All right, you did. Mono better. All right, I understand. Nigga, 15 days, bro. Come on, my dog. Man. Nigga ain't even called you in 15 days. <laughs> 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 ain't heard of you about a month and a half. Like, you tripping. See, them be the same <laughs> niggas who be talking all that tough shit till they go to court. It's before they go to court, they be like, nigga, whatever, nigga. I'm thugging. Just, you know, I'm ready to go lay down. Nigga, tell them 15 days. Nigga, say a prep for me. be tripping, bro. <laughs> be tripping, bro. <laughs> They wouldn't let you pay him. He fuck me tripping. They wouldn't bro. let you pay that little charge, y'all, man. Oh, no, bro. <laughs> How long they give you, little bro? They gave me 15 days. Oh, me tripping. He fuck me wagging. No, man. No, nah, man, everybody hold your head up. I know how I feel, but yeah. hey, they don't give a fuck. I went and did 31 days because I didn't want to give them shit on Hey, that's what I was just about to say, man. Somebody watching this who just got home from doing about 30 days. But I did 31 days because I went, I ain't had $800, nigga. Y'all nigga bullshit. And I, and I was willing to go do 31 days because I ain't had shit out to do. You ain't want to be on probation. It wasn't that. I was going to do some old dumb shit to try to get E for $800. Oh, my God. I was like, man, I'm finna goddamn buddy for to my nigga eight hundred dollars, and he trying to demand these shit. First, he tried to get me to do forty five. Hey, not yeah. for no goddamn eight fifty. Bro, yes, bro, <clears throat> yes, bro. I was in the, I was in Peach. County. What hell, you did thirty one for eight fifty? I had still like, too I got caught though. with three grams. It was some midget. Oh, this. and it wasn't even mine, but I don't even care. But it was, it, it was three grams of the mid, bro. That's why I say different, different counties is different, bro. Them folk bang my ass so My folk came and got me. I went to court. He was like, all right, for this amount of weed, uh, we're going to do 45 days. All paid the fine. It was that or that. And she was like, Judge, he ain't from down here now. He can't pay no $1,400. Now, nah, woo 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 And he was like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. 865 days. So it it amount to, okay, 30, 31 days. That or 31 days. I, I'm like, man. I'm in court having a, a a decision about eight hundred dollars. You gotta hurry up because it's on. In like thirty one days, nigga, I'm nineteen. I'm like, man. I'm looking at my mama. I'm like, mama, I ain't finna make you pay no eight hundred dollars. We ain't even. It's hot. The crib hot. I'd rather you get some AC. So when I come home, at least I know I got AC. You did buy AC unit. Shit, I ain't got no job. Man, I'm finna do these little thirty one. Go knock this shit on that man. What these folks trying to do? Nigga, my mama like, no. I'm like, go on, man, because they going to be tripping. She was like, no. I'm like, mom, you got to start crying. <laughs> I got to walk in this motherfucker like, come on, you dig what I'm saying? Because I ain't never did no, like, two days. Damn. So I'm like, fuck that shit. Go down there, do them 31 days, then came home like a champ. Like, nigga, run this Nigga, shit. that is the longest time in the world. Boy, I did about 40 gazillion push-ups in one month. That's why, I, <laughs> listen, that, that's why I understand a nigga... When he do time, listen here, bro. If once you done <clears> did <throat> two nights, spent the night, and you just got your mindset like, okay, I'm in this bitch. That's fucked up. That moment, a nigga is living that moment for years. You see what I'm saying? So I be like, bro, I understand, but hey, but hey, John, I ain't. I'm too player. You dig what I'm saying? Man. Gone with the bullshit. Miss me with it. I ain't going. Hey man, I'm thirty one day show my ass. Hey, <laughs> boy, you better tighten up. And that's just on, that's the that's the small side. It's some niggas out here that will do thirty one years, right? And come back home and be like, yeah, like I was saying. Still, yeah, yes, sir. Man. That shit showed me though. It, it it taught me to be way more smarter than the net man. Like, oh no, sir, you have to be smarter than the net. Cause you gotta understand, I was literally in a situation where I ain't know nobody. I'm two hours away from home. You feel what I'm saying? This literally like some shit like down the road. And I'm finna go in here with some knucklehead and I don't even know nothing back. Right. I ain't got no problem. No everybody in here on, no everybody in here on dumb shit. Everybody in here on some dumb shit. 
You dig what I'm saying? So I'm and I'm 19, nigga. You know I got a baby. You know little baby face me, nigga. I'm night, nigga. I'm like this here, hold hold my own. I took a nigga Trey for nothing. No, he did what, some fuck it was shit. some good shit. He did some fuck shit. I was just like, give me that, do something. He ain't do shit, and I was like, shit, yo. Okay. <laughs> What the fuck is man? <laughs> Why we trying to tell you? I be chilling, bro. That's why I say if I did too much in 30 days, well, I can't go through. Nigga, I can't do that. Hell no, boy. I can't do that. Uh-uh. 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 Like, no, no, I'm man. glad God saved my life. He saved my life. <laughs> Got a nigga living right. Uh -huh. <laughs> he did. It's a lot of niggas out there that live. Live like young nigga. I, hey, boy. I'm, I'm living the life for you, gang. You can do it too, brother. Eh. Don't let no nigga trick you off the street, gang. For real, well, you could be a, 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 a lunatic, or you could be, or you could walk right and still be a lunatic. <laughs> you did. You got a jazz story. I got another one. That shit was crazy. I bro. wasn't in there long enough to have no goddamn story. Ain't catch you in Peach County, though. God, I'm going to school, bro. I'm going for Fort Valley. I went to school for six months. You feel me? Like, that's why folks who knew me, like, got there, like, RIP, my little, my little partner on um, Boosie, man. He went to uh, Fort Valley. He was at one of the Wild Lot show. The one we just did. Got there. We were just dying. I just fucking around. Come on, smoke. My sister went down there. My grandma is from there. You dig what I'm saying? She has a street called Power Street right across. You feel me? It's my sister and grandma. You feel what I'm saying? So, I was dying there at school at Fort Valley for six months, bro, and got banged up on some slick shit. Oh. And got down, you know how that shit go. Humbug shit. Humbug. Nigga be Man, humbug. The first time I got jammed up and went to jail for a little Not bullshit. Him. Little uh concealed weapon shit. Oh god damn. Yeah. You you a serious criminal. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Nick. <laughs> oh, well, tell me more. Uh, I mean, I went to I right, man, I was in that bitch for about about a day. That's why I like Ford's County, bro. That's one thing I say, but if stay your ass in Ford's County. I stayed County, in there because it boy. took me. I this was right, right, you know, right when everybody was really getting a cell phone. I couldn't remember right. nobody's fucking number, oh, bro. Yeah. And this the craziest part about how I got out of jail, though. I had to call. This how fucking crazy it was. I used to call. You used to have to call the Twisted Taco for like call in to get on the list for like on like Monday. <laughs> To get on the Tuesday night show, right? I had called the motherfucking promoter so much to get on the show. He was the only number that I remember, no. and still to this day I remember that motherfucking number, bro. Mm -mm. You can, hey, my word yeah. is bond. You can ask Quincy. I called him, told him to call Clayton, told him to go to my cousin house and get her so she could come get me. She come down there. They like, no, you don't have enough. Credentials to get him out, like no. you know, you gotta have like work, you gotta have like a job, recent pay stuff, all this shit. And I had the money, so we had, then she had to leave, go all the way back, find somebody who could get me out. This whole time, like they, they didn't got me that night, so this is all motherfucking day me getting out of jail. Man, I get out of jail, I'm riding to the crib. It looked like just from them. That day and a half I was in jail, they rebuilt the whole goddamn Atlanta. No. Nigga, I'm riding home like, that window's always been over there. <laughs> Nigga, it's a Walmart, baby. <laughs> How long was I in that motherfucker, man? <laughs> that shit, I always had you feel now like I'm just that. looking out the window like, <laughs> Nigga, it's, it's everything in this goddamn like neighborhood, you man. That's a McDonald's, Subway, all those songs. Nigga. See, my daddy is so long. Okay. <laughs> That must have just been a hell of a weekend because there was so many motherfuckers in there, man. But no, that's why I like Fool to County, though, bro. That's why I, I don't love like Ford no to county. county. No, I'm talking about my county. No. I'm not talking about the county. No. I thought you meant like no. the jail. I'm, like, I'm talking about my bitch. county, eight Atlanta, because even if something happened to you, bro, they give you a slap on the wrist. They understand how it is when niggas just living. If you ain't serious and doing no no hard coach out, they like, look, my nigga, we know you got caught with 30 pounds. Now, we don't understand niggas smoke weed. You ain't hurt nobody. Now, nah, go do too much, they gon' think you snitching. But take your ass off. <laughs> I don't give a fuck why that's so many niggas snitching in the lane, boy. Hey, man. Niggas is snitching, man. A nigga always would do dirt with a nigga they still think he's a snitch. Be like, man, you know, they said Tony was a snitch, man. But you oh, know, I sold man. a nigga 10 pounds the other day, shit. Be like, 
Hey, what's up, man? It's man Carlos Mill over here at the 85 South Show. Something nice. I am trapped in the studio, and I don't know how I'm going to get something to eat. You know what I do? I pick up the phone and open the DoorDash app. Yeah, they bring you everything, man. DoorDash has something for every lifestyle. On the go with no time to waste, order pickup and pass the line. Delivery is more than just pizza in 2020. With a selection of your favorite flavors from across the globe, you can order world cuisine from the comfort of your living room with DoorDash. So make sure you download the app and use promo code 85 South so you can get $5 off your first order of $15 or more. That's promo code 85 South. You've got big plans for 2020, but when will you find time to do it all? Order delivery with DoorDash and take back time in your day. We use it. We want you to use it. That's why we're giving you the promo code. And for the people who don't know what a promo code is, it's kind of like a coupon before the internet. So if you go in there and they say enter the promo code, always enter 85 South so you can get the best deal possible. With door-to-door -door delivery in all 50 states, Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can order from your local go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, and the Cheesecake Factory. Get the app. Go to the app store and get the app. You don't have it yet? Why we still talk? I got food on the way. What were you saying, bro? Go to commercial. Hell no. Hey, don't even say they name, man. No hey, man. Up. Hey, man. This motherfucking court system is crazy and like I had jury duty not too long ago. No. Oh, they tried to fuck me. They <laughs> tried to fuck me on jury duty, man. You right. know how you go to jury duty. Everybody right. like, man, don't worry about that shit. Right. Nine times out of ten, they ain't even gonna pick you. <laughs> man, you gotta get the jury duty. First of all, the shit hard as fuck. Right. They send you the jury duty. And then you delay it so many times, they're like, nope, not no more. You gotta come. All right. So they sent me, they're like, nope, you got to come. Right. So you got to get up at like 7 to beat the traffic. Not like 6 to beat traffic. Park at the parking lot. Catch the shuttle. <laughs> Catch the motherfucking shuttle. No. Check in. Go through all this goddamn security like you going to court. Then go upstairs. <laughs> Then there's a room with about 300 motherfuckers oh, yeah, you in there. You the sheriff. You the bailiff. Then you, look, when you <laughs> go, you get up there where you're supposed to go to. Then you got to check in so they can know you there. Then they call everybody's name to make sure everybody in that motherfucker. Then they start calling motherfuckers for jury duty. You sit there an hour, two hours. They just call the number. You know, just like you're at the DMV. Oh, fuck. Mm. Send it. Then they get the brown lunchtime. Like, man, they probably ain't gonna call us today. Let, let's go on and get the fuck out of here. They were like, so people start making up shit. They like, man, you know if they don't call you by 1 30, you can go home. Like, oh, fuck. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, fuck, fuck. So, man, them motherfuckers fucked around and called my number. And right. we got a show this day. Yeah. This the day of the show. Man, I'm in this bitch. I'm thinking they be like, all right, so if they call me now, I can go on and do the little whatever it is. And then it's done for the day, right? All right. Oh man, these motherfuckers, I can't tell you what the shit was. But we go in the bitch and they get to telling us what the case was. As soon as I hear it, I'm like, oh, hell no. They got this hey, hey, I can't be in here. <laughs> no. Got hey, to go to OJ case. This is some shit that's going to be happening about a year or two. I can't be on this shit. I can't. So what you told them? Huh? So what you told them? Oh, they, before you get to tell them anything, they ask you a bunch of questions. Yeah. They give you a number. Right. They be like, hey, man, do you think you might be biased if this is a white person who yeah. did this? Yup. <laughs> do you, how you feel about, hey, death penalty, all that. <laughs> Whatever you answer to, they're going to ask you why you feel that way. Have you ever had somebody die of gun violence? Yup. How you feel? Post-traumatic? Oh, ma'am, you, man, they ask you all this shit that could disqualify you. You ought yeah. to see the shit people be uh, agreeing with. Damn. Anybody here don't believe in God? Me? That's the first one. Get all them out of here. Damn. Yeah, they gotta go. <laughs> they gotta go. They gotta go. You gotta go. Hell wrong with you. You don't give a fuck about nothing. They ask you all kind of shit. Have you ever been a part of a hate your group? Ass out of here. They talking about swearing on the Bible. You man. gonna get your ass out of here. You just gonna be in there doing some. So then I, I told them. They asked me if I, anybody was a business owner, has you know, if this might be, you know, might take too much work. I was like, yes. 
So then you got to go tell them, like, you, they leave, make everybody else leave, and then they call you individual so you can tell them why you can't do this shit. Right. I'm like, look, I got this going on. I believe these folk know me. They laughing like, hey, man, that buddy. Like, they, <laughs> they doing everything a nigga can do to let a nigga know that, hey, I know you. They, like, give you the guy, like, nigga, nigga, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, no, then I want to say that, but I can't. I'm like, y'all, these niggas know me, man. I'm famous, man. They, nah, but you know what I'm saying? Right. But these niggas like, nigga, this buddy, well, I'm not. But your Jerry duty. You yeah. Like, I'm me. like, look, I got to show. Look, it go to fly. You didn't talk to this person. Man, I, this shit took all day. Damn. Them motherfuckers let me go at like 2.45. I, I called a flight duty. out this bitch. My flight left at like 4.15. For real. Man, I left jury duty. You know, they, jump they, straight they, they on not the allowing people to do jury duty if you're on probation. That why I, I ain't on probation. I, was, I skilled it. Skilled it. But I had to do bench duty. So hey, man. This the thing, though, man. You be out here trying to live right, and there's just certain shit you just got to do. You just got to do it. Like, see, on, on probation, it's this thing called bench duty where it's like grown folk time out, bro. You have to come to the probation office at 8 o'clock. And it's three chairs, because everybody can't do it. It's only they get to pick people to do it. And you, you, you sit, sit down. From 8 o'clock <laughs> to about 9 p.m. Just sit there. But you sit your ass. And just <laughs> listen. You no, nigga, it's a hundred niggas coming in, seeing their probation office, and you just sitting right there. I'm in there just like... Hey, what was happening? Yeah, but they got your boy. Oh, let me hey, let me ask you What's this. What's up, Poopy? I can't get Ain't this the worst me. shit what? about going to see your probation officer? You get there early. She done set your appointment early. You get there, you check in, and you still ain't the first motherfucker that they see? Nigga, let me tell you what. Well, them are some of the most. I think I got PTSD from just being on probation, especially because I know I, I ain't do shit to on be probation. on the Patience. Patience, that shit taught me. Let me tell you, when I first got on probation, I was 17, had three years federal probation. My first PO, I never, it was a man, bro. And I ain't had no man after that ever since. It was a man, bro. Nigga, I go in there, I'm trying to win this nigga over. What's up, man? I say, ah, my name is Whitfield. <laughs> he look at me, he said, oh, you think this a game, huh? Oh, <laughs> you think this shit funny? Okay. Well, let's see how fun this is on next time you come in here in your, in your pee dirty. <laughs> yeah. I this uh, this crazy. The last probation <laughs> officer I had, bow my ass. I don't even remember that lady's name because she used it. to kill my name so hard it was just like excruciating. I still hear it in my head. She used to always say, "Then when she would come call me to the back, she'd be like, Mister Miller, <laughs> Mister Miller." Who that shit was, just what county that was? Motherfucking, uh, it was Jonesboro, Forest Park. What's your black or white? Um, so Clayton County, right? That's Clayton. That's yeah, that's Clayton. Yeah, Clayton. Clayton. That's it. See, Clayco, the motherfucker there. Mister Miller. I can get on probation on Clayco. They they throw me a, a throwing away part. Uh, going I had a part. Spanish dude and a Spanish. We lady gonna miss you. I'm like the Spanish fuck? dude was cool though, like, cause I paid my shit off. He was like, yeah, man, I ain't I ain't gonna brush your balls, man. Clayco, I know you're a good dude. Clayco don't want their money up front. They want you to pay monthly. They don't. No, it's after you get up to a certain amount. They They'll me, let you pay it off. pay monthly for three years, and I had to come in every month for yeah. three years. Probation fee. And that's separate from the fee that you got to pay for your fine. Well, niggas be like, well, y'all niggas ain't been through. Man, nigga, yeah, man, Do I you know it's, humble. It's I know exactly what you're going through, brother. But I'm always telling you here, stay prayed up. There's another way. Yeah, you depending did. on what kind of probation you on, it's at least $44 a month to be on probation. And they only... 54 Exactly. Maybe probably, yeah, 44 to $54 a month. And they only accept money orders. So know that. Or court. You know how many people... So, but look, this how, is this how dirty the system is. You show up for probation and say you only got cash and you got to go get a fucking money order. Mm -hmm. If you have to leave... They gonna say that you wasn't there at the time that you was supposed to be there, right. and they will violate your ass right then and there. Take your ass back. Cause if you supposed to be there at ten thirty, you supposed to be there at ten thirty with a money order. I'm talking about. I done heard that lady at the window chomp motherfuckers off. Well, you got fifteen minutes. You need to try to go get the. Need, need the why you sitting here talking to me? Y'all gonna need to be trying to. Then the muff, only place that sell money orders around here is ten minutes away. I'm like, this is the dirtiest. Y'all gonna be up. We gonna be here until we call. Exactly. 
<laughs> when the motherfuckers say that, we gonna be here until oh, they we talk come. to you so bad at the probation office. Excuse me, do you have a restroom? I mean, do you have a restroom at home? Because we don't have a restroom for people who don't know how to follow the rules. So ain't got a restroom for criminals, right? <laughs> we got a restroom for employees, but we, not a restroom. It, yes, for criminals. it's not a public restroom. Well, see, see, ask your probation officer when you get back there. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, we will get to you. We will get to you. Calm down. When they say that shit twice, buddy, you don't got on there. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, we will get to you. We will get to you. Oh, this is the one that lets you know you fucked up at the window. Well, yeah. you can be 100% right. When they hit you with the, yes, I understand that, Mr. Whiff. I, I understand completely what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> that but, that's the shit that can send you to jail. This, this the thing when they fold them paper when they when they be like let me see your paperwork let me see your paperwork mhm mm mhm mm mhm mm okay this is what you gonna do write your name and your number down and we'll call you bitch oh, y'all ain't finna call me oh nigga you, you let me see me that that money but you ain't finna call me by hey this let me shit. see that right there you ever have like when they ask you for some shit from like the court mm -hmm. and you ever be like what is this. No, that's the paperwork they told me to bring down there. No. Because look at this. It's not signed at the bottom. And you wrote your name in the wrong spot. We can't accept this. I don't know where you even got this from. Carolyn, come here. This the one that fucked me up. When they do this, it ain't even nothing on the... All right. We'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> now you sitting there wondering what... What? Man, I feel so bad for niggas on probation. It, it ain't no way you can win on that shit. That's basically all we saying. What's up, honey? <laughs> Don't, shoot <laughs> Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. They get eyes on the pride. Hey, you? come on. <laughs> that nigga all. Through the crack of the door. <laughs> <laughs> Walk wide, <wild>, Bradrick. <laughs> hey, bro. What I want to do here, bro, they go to a, like, a honey house, bro. Like, 10 deep. And let's see who make it to the top. Let it go. What you talking about? I don't know. Just do, do shit. Do I make it to the top? I'm talking about Speaking you. of making it to the top, man. Fuck around. Fuck that. You think I ain't going to say nothing, but I'm going to say something. What? I saw you fed them people. Oh, yeah, man. Westside folk, man. man. Had to, man. Hey, the Cray Pop out, we thought about feeding 100 people, but we ended up feeding like about 300 people. You know what I mean? And a couple people pulled up and just started passing out money as well. So that's what we do it for, to spread the love. Not just be like, oh, look. But like. If somebody inspire you, it, you, it motivates Look, you to do it too. You, you don't stunt on your community. You stunt with your community. You dig what I'm saying? Right. I, don't, I, don't, I don't pull back up, ride through, and do all the extra shit. I pull back up when it's need to, and, and it's, you know what I'm saying? With the right time, you feel me? And, and I come to fuck with my people. Like, this is my genuine. hood. And yeah, like, heart. this is where I'm from. If anything, we can start, I can't help the world. Right, I can start, I can start do, I can help a couple streets. There you go. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, shit, you know what that's I mean? enough. Yeah, yeah, that's way further because I, I can always, and I always say this because I ain't got to do shit. Right. Because when I was coming up, motherfucker ain't do shit for me. You dig what I'm saying? But you have to change that mentality. Be like, it ain't about that. Right. You dig what I'm saying? We get a hundred people just to come together like how we be. Like I say, I'm from another dimension. 1999 on back. What year you were born? 92. All right, bet. That's why I got more than cold. All right, bet. You feel me? I, I was about playing. That. I think I was playing Sega in 92. Yeah. Damn. What you old as fuck. Hey man, you gonna you gonna cut that out? Yeah, no, I bet. You, you got really you, you like me old. Out. You like me old. You like you just getting grown, but I'm like right. Grown that's man what I'm trying grown. to tell you. I'm almost thirty. Almost. Yeah. I'm I'm grown. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm uh, you bug half. I'm almost up out of there. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm about to tell you what happened. Man. Ah. It's all yeah, you know, yeah. I tell you what happened. Fuck you mean? I nah, was just bro. telling Chad the other day. See the first about the first three. You, you good? You pimping? Right. You pimping? You good? You know everything. Then when you get about thirty three and a half. You just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna go and let them young nigga have. I'm just gonna I'm go tired. sleep. I'm, I'm gonna be tired of a lot yeah. of shit. You gonna need a lot of naps. Hey man, I ain't gonna be. I ain't gonna be with none of that. Do you believe me when I tell you all the nights that you stay up late in your twenties that you gonna pay for in your thirties? Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna go to sleep. I feel that shit now. Like when I, if I, if I up and run from like nine to like three. I'm a crab. No, I'm like, telling you. I, that's just the way life works. I need that The now. time has already been put in. It ain't right. nothing you can do about it. No, I'm, I'm telling you now. I feel it. Like, if I'm up from like 9 to like 3, I need to sleep at least between 4 to 6. Okay. Because if the, I don't, it's going to be even worse. This is the craziest part. Because I'm going to be up still. This ain't going to come immediately. Right. All the injuries you ever had in your life, you're going to feel them again. I feel them now. 
I'm letting you know they coming back. I feel them now. These are things to look forward to in your mid thirties. They all coming back. Look, I got style, right? And every year my hand get tighter and tighter. Right. The motherfucker get tighter and tighter. I still don't know if they put screws in the motherfucker or not, but the motherfucker get tighter and tighter where I always constantly have to scratch that shit. You gonna have to I don't give a man. fuck. Exactly. You dig what I'm saying? It is what it is, but every year I feel it like getting tighter and stiffer and stiffer. Well, I gotta walk around with them little Press balls. Okay. I ain't doing that shit. That's gonna be crazy as hell. One day you're gonna wake up, that bitch gonna be closed all the way, and the doctor gonna say, Oh, yeah, we need to go up in there. Yeah, some new shit out. We gotta take that out. The crazy part about it, they probably need to. Exactly. I can't, I can't lift my hand, my finger. That's right. it. Yeah. That's far it's gonna go. That shit coming. Don't worry about it. Bah, bro. Bah, bah, bah. Don't listen to that, me. though. Bah, 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 bah. You feel it? Don't listen to me. Fuck all these niggas. Don't listen to me. I, I'm telling you. I've been here before. No, nah, we thugging though, but you know that's why I did that for the community though, man. You know what I mean? Bruh, Spread that love. The shit that you do for your community inspires so many people. And I want you to just know that people love to see that side of you also. Like, I ain't gonna lie, when I seen that shit from Bubba Johnson, bro, when he fed out them folk, like, it wasn't no, I never thought he was stunning on them then. Right. Like, it was like, hey, what? A nigga can feed the community and they, but we love you, Bubba. Bubba, Bubba, Bubba. Bubba. Bobby, if it wasn't you, Bobby, I'm like, God damn, I don't want to be a, a bumpy tight nigga. I don't want to be a bumpy. You see what I'm saying? I want to be a bumpy tight nigga right. to do that type of shit for my people. So nigga, like, think, God damn it, DC, buddy, turkeys. <laughs> what? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna feed my whole family with this church. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about, nigga. Feed your family, nigga. You did. If we had a hundred nigga like that, or like, nigga, go feed your family, nigga. We'll be a better community. You feed me instead of like, now tell me, thank you. But feet, like, I ain't, that ain't me, bro. You right. feel me? Like, honey, your business. You dig what I'm saying? I'm gonna get mine. God got me. So that's what I'm here for. You feel me? If I could bless, if he bless me, if I could bless 300 people, look how we turn one blessing into 300. You dig what I'm saying? Come right. on, gang. <laughs> right. Talk somebody. Come on now. Turn one into three. Mm. <laughs> Everybody got feed. The whole hood. Whole hood, Eight. nigga. My little partner hit me. He said, bro, I've been standing out of here 24 years, nigga. I ain't never seen nobody feed the hood, huh? Mm-hmm. I said, right, because I grew up with you. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Like, but we got to be the chain, bro. Now let come on and pass out these turkey. You did. But now nah, that's what I do it for, bro. That love, bro. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to stunt one time. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm planning something crazy, though. Got to, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm pulling up like the Joker, though. That's been my biggest inspiration these days. Not the last one though. I was so mad at that last Joker movie that made me watch that shit. That shit was terrible. That little laughing shit, man. Yeah, that shit, was, man. That hey, shit man. was garbage as a mother. I'm not really a Batman fan, but I'm, I'm a more of a Superman fan. Bro, I want to. But I watched Batman came with he was great. He he did enough cool shit to be like, all right, Batman, you ain't no flying nigga. Nah. You need you need accessories to boop a nigga ass. They need to make a you movie. You really just got no power movie. Joker. Just the Joker. Mm mm. Yeah. You know what they need to make one by? Who? The Riddler. What's up, ugly dude? What's up, fully? Ugly <laughs> dude. They need they need to make one by the Riddler. The Joker. Jim Carrey. What's up, J O N, the other ugly dude? They need to make one by Jim Carrey. The Riddler? That Damn, shit was so lit. But he they they had him in it with other they had him, the Rose Girl. Yeah. You feel me? Poison and, Ivy. Yeah, Poison Ivy. They don't do nothing original. They do all they put sad. Then they did one about the Joker girlfriend. You know, if you a real Batman fan, you never gave a fuck about Joker girlfriend. She was a hoe. Hey right, man, don't call this lady a hoe. She was a hoe. But don't do his lady. That's his that's his main lady, bro. Don't call her a hoe, man. Don't she want no hoe? The Joker girlfriend? And then she fell into the bag. You talking about Harley Quinn, right? She, yeah. she, she fell into the thing, right? Yeah. And turned into that little, I give a fuck about that shit. Nobody never did. Don't nobody care about the Joker girlfriend, Look, bro. Bro, check this out. I was having, nobody care about Joker girlfriend. I was talking about this shit. Nobody really liked Joker. Robin like that, but it was like, all right, Robin. That's what I was talking about on Twitter. <laughs> we, I didn't. I said some shit. And then I was like, damn. So, like, I got all these responses and right. shit. And what then people, I forgot what the tweet was because what I've been smoking the weed. But everybody kept beating me back. And I was like, damn, I didn't know I had so many biblical scholars following me. You so do. many questions. And I was like, well, what's Jesus' brother's name? And then they started sending me all this shit from the Old Testament and mm -hmm. shit. Somebody hit me. was like, oh, I bet you didn't know 
Jesus had a wife. I was like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Hold on. What happened? Wait a minute. They said, look, this is what I was told. Mm -hmm. I was told that Jesus had a wife, but she was like a prostitute or a hoe or some <laughs> shit. And then he married her, but then he he washed her sins away first. Mm -hmm. So I was like, that make all the sense in the world. He married a hoe, but it's like, he Jesus. He can just erase that shit. <laughs> And make it clean again. Right. <laughs> make it brand new. Right. <laughs> Ain't that fucking amazing? <laughs> Put a whole new glow on it. Put a whole new pine towel glow on it, girl. <laughs> One swoop. <laughs> she got a whole glow back. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> that was beautiful. Niggas be like, you know I hit that. No, you did. No, Not you did. that. Not that one. She knew. <laughs> That's refurbished right now. You hit that one. Hey, I did that with myself. <laughs> You might hit this, but you ain't hit this. That's the craziest <laughs> thing, though, man. That's crazy. You think he did, though? He had to, because then I saw dude try to do it. I ain't going to say who dude was, but I seen this dude try to pull the same thing in real life. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, damn, that's why he felt like he could do that. Mm. But they say you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. But you can you can if you cold enough to forgive her for her sins that's all it takes is a little forgiveness i think that that'll make the world go around but you can't be dwelling on what she did before you got there you can't because then you're gonna be you gonna hurt yourself right you gotta let it go especially if you live in a glass house now you can't mm -hmm. be out here calling nobody a hoe if you a hoe and I don't know why two hoes can't just be happy together. Why they feel like everybody got to surrender their wholeness? Just be a hoe together. See, this getting too deep. No, it ain't because if two hoes can getting, be together, ha, it deep. only makes a wholeness <laughs> stable. You ever had a whole phase in your life where you was just doing way too much? Ooh, I had to slow it down, bro. What made you slow it down? Because my wholeness was starting to be my character. Oh, it was leaking into yes. your real life. Because when I walked, they be like, there go a hoe. <laughs> I said, no, 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 no. Right, right. So I had to walk in in a disguise, you know, because we can't let the enemy know how we're trying to move. So you're saying you had to walk in your wholeness? No, I had to walk out my wholeness Ooh. and had to walk with my wholeness. You Come see, on. Walk I with, couldn't walk, walk with. with my wholeness. I'm following you, my brother. You see, I, I wasn't following the wholeness. Okay. I had to let the wholeness and say, hey, wholeness, I'm going to need you to step to the side and walk with me because now I'm following you and you are not guiding me in the right direction. Okay. okay. You dig what I'm saying? Right. Because I can't see. You in the way. Right. And because I'm just watching so, your footsteps. So let me ask you this, brother. Were you moving like this because you were unsettled? <clears throat> I was moving because I was following something I was liking oh. and loving. What provoked you to this lifestyle? It was it was a feeling that I just sometimes can't share. When a girl get naked, I say, ooh. Mm -hmm. ooh. Were you ready with were you ready for the responsibility that comes with that life? I was, but I really wasn't because I wasn't walking in my right direction. Okay. I was walking in my wholeness. Okay. I was allowing my wholeness to lead me where it thought that I needed to be. Right. But once I said, wholeness, listen, I'm going to need for you to step to the side and walk with me. Speak on emptiness. <laughs> I don't really know too much about being empty because my wholeness didn't allow me to be empty. So you're saying your wholeness kept you full. <laughs> my wholeness kept me busy. <laughs> There was never no emptiness. So you can't speak on loneliness either. Uh-uh. I only got when I got alone, my wholeness said, I'll be right back. <laughs> Your wholeness took a break. <laughs> I think I made my wholeness got tired of being a hoe. <laughs> so I had to let her retire for a little minute. But my wholeness, definitely I had to tell my wholeness to walk with me instead of guiding my footsteps. I feel you, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with that's that. what other people gotta do, man. You gotta sometimes you can't, you can't, you can't allow your wholeness to control. Like I literally right, had let's to have stop. A discussion then, I literally see. had to stop, like on some shit, like my nigga. Do you think it's okay to save a hoe? It's cool. <laughs> it's cool if you. If, 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 let me tell you something. You know why I say it's cool to save a hoe because you can always boss a bitch up. Okay, so you could take it from a hoe. I can turn it. Anybody can boss up. It's, it's just a look. It's a right. glow. It's a look. A bitch. Something you know. You see a bitch who ever been depressed and down. 
And then you just see she got a certain glow about it. You're like, damn, that bitch cute. It's a confidence. Mm. You got to walk that walk. You got to talk that talk. It ain't, it ain't. Anybody who with me, bitch, I'm going to boss you up to be like that. That's why when motherfucker be walking, you be like, look, this motherfucker got a whole lot of confidence now. <laughs> oh, no, you, you can't overconfident me, motherfucker. You mm. feel me? I taught you what you know. That's how you feel. You dig what I'm saying? You create a monster. But no, 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 no. You can, but that's why you got to tell them you got to walk with me. You have created a monster. Or you can walk alone. You have, you have created a monster. Didn't even know how to walk before you got there. I mean, but that comes with the game. You now, got that's the, a part of the game that don't nobody tell you about. You know, like, you don't follow the directions all the way. When they be like, one third a cup of water. You be like, bitch, but then, but then, but then, But then that's when you got to start letting them figure it out on their own. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, you got to... This is what I say. When you come in a fight, I hate niggas who come in a fight not being prepared to get hit. Ooh. I come Everybody in the, has a plan until they get punched in the face. Right. I come in the fight <clears throat> willing to take your hardest hit, motherfucker. I'm coming in there with that intention. Nigga, hit me, nigga. Because what? What's going to fuck you up is when I do one of these. <laughs> you going to be like, I wasn't expecting that shit. You dig what I'm saying? So I come in the game prepared for all the hits. So when a girl do that, it's part of the... Of the game, you got to tell the young brother, listen here, you're going to teach her everything you know. Then she going to walk off and act like she don't even know you. Right. But that's part of the situation. You got to know, know why? what's going on. Do you know why? Because I taught you everything you know, not everything I know. You have the confidence to walk out there with the knowledge that you think you got right. from me. But you ain't really got everything See, because you don't walk out. That's the part. It's like. I know what you don't know. And you don't know that you don't know it, which makes me even more dangerous. That's why you don't never challenge motherfuckers with more experience. Not saying never, I'm just saying you never know what comes with it. And when people get hit with the upset. Oh, it's an upset! No, you just didn't know what that other motherfucker was capable of. Wisdom is a motherfucker. I don't underestimate nobody. Wisdom comes in small packages. Wisdom ain't shit, but knowledge you know what to do with. But what you say? Wisdom ain't shit, but knowledge you know what to do with. I like that. But some people don't know what to do with it. But that's what I'm saying. Wisdom come in all shapes and form. It could be in some totally you wouldn't even attract your attention. You like it's an energy about this motherfucker. Right. Something. Every time he speak, every time some of these motherfuckers say something. I'm just attracted to the actual knowledge that I'm gaining from. All right, speaking of, what is your definition? That's of the smart? wisdom. Smart, everybody, common sense. Smart, that's easy. Smart, everybody should know that. Now, you have a different intellect. A different everybody intellect skills is a little different. Like you might can pick up on certain shit. Like science might be your favorite subject. Your intellect skill might be a little different than I am. But math, I'll bust your ass. Put me up against any variables, i break that shit down. My intellect skill on math is a little different. You see what I'm saying? So when it comes to smart, that's why I'm like this. When I'm meeting See, that's people. what I'm saying. Smart is just a combination of how much shit you can do correctly. Because that's what people base somebody being smart off of. It's like, how many times can you be right? But think about what's smart is. Everybody really basically smart because you know right from wrong, so you're smart. No, but see, it's like, even if, if you could have to be create, critique somebody's life, you could be like, why the fuck you do that? If you did it like this, but it's like, it's so many different ways to do it. But that, that just make you opinionated. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, everybody can have different perspective because that would make the world go round. Right. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But when you say smart, are you smart? You, you supposed to be smart, nigga. You dig what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you smart. If you ain't if you ain't smart, you dumb as fuck. And you know a dumb ass nigga. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like, what is he using every day? You know what I start doing every day? I'm like, all right. I start seeing myself. I'm handling my business, but I'm like, I'm smart enough to use my knowledge and what I know to carry me further. So instead of me just doing the everyday typical thing, I'm like, nigga, what do I know? What do I know how to do? What do who who do I know? <laughs> Let me use that to help. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm sitting on all this shit, but I ain't doing nothing with. You see what I'm saying? So like, what type of intellect mind state are you on? 
that make that 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 determine what level of smartness you want to be. You feel mm-hmm. me? That's why when I meet a motherfucker, I be like, "What's happening?" Okay, are you so just sitting still, so or are you? So you saying, yeah, if you're smart enough to do that, that means you did something right. But everybody right is different. What is right? What is right? Right. Come on, somebody. Now we, you dig? What is right? What is right? I don't know what right is. Right. Because everything that you think is right is just based off what somebody else may or may not have told you. What you may, uh, you whatever you say is right. It just only makes you comfortable. Well, what is wrong? Is that just what we disagree on? Right. Mm. Right. So it has to be wrong because we don't disagree. Wrong. Uh, every time, what well, wrong? What? Hey, no, but what you talking about? No, no, that wrong. And when you do somebody wrong, they just want you. To, they wanted shit to be right, man. They don't do me right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Hey, they did me wrong. Did you wrong? Because why? They ain't do you right. Exactly. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But everybody is different. That's why you have to be willing Sometimes. to compromise with somebody to understand they right still wrong, but All I'm right, going to sit you. here and make them feel like they right is right. Now, if you smart enough to sit right here and make somebody feel like they right is right, but you still know that they right is wrong, Okay. I didn't ask you, this. you see what I'm saying? Oh, you just you. using the mind game to make them feel comfortable so you can continue to do what you got to do. Which one was first, right or wrong? Wrong. You won't know unless experience teach you what is right or wrong. No, I'm saying was wrong first or was right right? Was right first or was wrong first? You won't know what's right until you do it wrong. But what if the shit was wrong first and then you made it right? Then you already know what's wrong because now it's right. But what if you didn't never know the shit was wrong until you <laughs> got it right? You just thinking you doing it, it right, but you, what if you was already doing it wrong? But who's it wasn't wrong until it was right. But if it don't if it ain't broke, don't fix it, so it might be right. But you can keep doing the wrong shit long enough that it can become right to you. And then your wrong is just your right. Right. So somebody else can look at your wrong and be like, that shit ain't right. Right. But it's right because you ain't bothering nobody. And you minding your business. And you staying in your own little, you know what I'm saying, your own little space. But see, as long as you stay in your space, you ain't wrong. Because you got right. the right to do that. But then the thing, though, a lot of people do some right shit to cover up some wrong shit. But sometimes you have to be wrong first. Like when you go to jail, they be like, you have the right to remain. Because you had to be wrong first. Now you got the right. Right. You don't even know the right sometime until you do wrong. Like, crazy, I didn't know I couldn't do that. But the crazy part about it, you are already in the right before they read you them right. But see, that's the thing about going outside. They just assume that you know right from wrong. But you already are declared it on the defense from doing wrong because when they see you, nigga, you are wrong. So that just goes to show you that motherfuckers naturally know Right from wrong. Right. They choose to say you're doing wrong before they say you're doing right. But see, if they tell you that you're doing wrong, that means that you was fucking up. No. You just sit there and and compromise when you know that you're right, but you have to uh you have to dictate the, the conversation so you can take your ass home. So if you some one outside and you saw some motherfuckers and they didn't look like they was from America and they was doing some shit you that you ain't never seen before, you're gonna be like, hey, what the fuck y'all doing? Nope, I'm going to hold my pistol and mind my bend and walk. Well, I'm saying, if they did this shit around enough people, some one of these concerned white people were like, hey, we don't do that in America. Let me show you. And I figure out what they're going to happen. They're going to try to write the wrong. After that person. white man say that shit, because I'll be like, boy, you should have mind this business. White people don't never mind their business. They don't, and that's why they be wrong. That's, that's why they a, be wrong. That's what this shit done showed me, <laughs> Y'all man. got to mind y'all business, that's man. That's what I've been seeing. A lot. White people don't never mind, because they look at it like being an American is like being a part of this team. It's like Team America. I don't know what the fuck. No, we are here trying to be free still. They already <laughs> free, though. We ain't. That's why we live in a different life it's, and a different fight every day. They up here like, we America. Listen, we are here, bitch. That's all we know, and that's all we go figure See, out. See, white people going to hear this shit. I'm like, dude, you are fucking free, man. What do you mean? You can do whatever the fuck you want. Right, but. Nobody's making yeah. you stay here, bro. 
That is a fact, cause I'm definitely. Free nah, man, home. you. I think, hey, man, you got, you got as much, you got more freedom than any black person that has been. No, nah, one thing about it, I don't life. hold that pass against of of saying, man, we can't do shit, but we can do way more than what we can do, and throw it in their face, but do it the right way. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Use what you know. Use what you're learning, bro. You got to think about it, bro. It's time. We living in some old iPhone ad time. Let's take everybody right now and say pause. Pause life. Let's take this shit back. And say, okay, let's live in 1960. No. No. You don't want to live in 1960? What, you want to take it further? No. Take it further? No. Where you want to go? future. Go to the future. I don't want to go to the past. Niggas. No, because niggas got to appreciate what Nigga, the fuck going on. No, they, not, they don't. They, they don't appreciate this shit. That's what, no, I don't need to go back to no time. No, I ain't like talking that. about you. I'm talking about them. We appreciate this shit. That's why we go hard. Mm-mm. We need to go to the future. I ain't trying to go to the future, bro. No, nah, because that's going to be the only thing that make, make, to make niggas change because they already seen the past. Niggas no, got to see it. They yeah, don't they feel have. it. They done seen every slave movie, every civil rights movie. You know every what they Martin say? Luther that ain't King. them. Okay. That's how they feel, bro. If you gotta understand, bro, it's more of us and more. If if, if we was on some shit, w- bro, that's just like me doing all this shit and then sixty years later, a nigga like, bro, I don't give a fuck, man. What the fuck, on the DC on fly? Dead, Somebody man. gonna say it ain't even it's gonna cool. take sixty years. It's cool, but for you to feel like a nigga ain't help the motherfuckers that's coming up behind me trying to make a way. And, and, and do that Something wrong with you brother And if you feel like Nigga you ain't always Had a right to go vote nigga Y'all nigga choosing Not to vote That's exactly And the crazy part about it We still ain't got The right to vote right now It's a It's a It's a It's a uh, Declaration uh, It's a law We gotta sign For every 25 year That they just signed Three years ago uh, or, or, or Or When it, When Bush was just in They re-signed it Nigga, that for blacks to vote for every twenty five niggas, a law that the Congress got to sit around like, are we gonna let the uh, blacks vote? And they all gotta, they all gotta agree with it. Don't, don't know, look it up. <laughs> Keep playing, uh, nigga. If a nigga ain't getting their head bust, so your pussy ain't gonna vote. But see, that's exactly Rock. what yeah, I'm, that. that's what I'm saying. They have already nigga, seen that. Got suck for your stupid ass to go vote. Uh, I'll take your, uh, Niggas have seen <laughs> every one of them. That's why they got to see the future as opposed to seeing the past. I don't want to see the future. Nigga, going to be a lot of niggas just ain't it, bro. They gonna try to make us vanish. Come Not the future. The future of niggas. Show them exactly like yeah. Look at that. Man, this shit look like yesterday. Exactly. Shit gonna stay exactly <laughs> the fucking same. Keep doing what you've been doing. Keep believing everybody in line. Don't vote. You gonna look at this shit. Look at the future. So look at your ass. This is you. you. Better stay prayed up and keep working with your little dumb ass. Exactly. Y'all niggas stupid, man. Show a nigga t- ten years from now. Look at you. Same fucking clothes on. Still getting mad at the corona. He gonna, go, he gonna go ten years in the future to the exact day. Look at that. You had this shit on yesterday. <laughs> Looking Dirty like motherfucker. Chicken. Look at Baggy you. Baggy clothes. Still mad at the corona. Hey man, Just still where my mad. girl at? Fuck nigga, nigga with a better nigga. <laughs> She with a better nigga. You a hurting her. You want to see her? Oh, this bitch living in the future. Mm-hmm. She got a car with no wheels. She's she really got five, in the future. She got five what? kids. Five kids by the nigga. Come on, man. That nut it all in your girl. Ah, ah, happy. Ah, got ah, a big ah, ass house. Nice, pretty ass grass. Yep, and it's fake. Your ass. Still the same nigga. Still the same nigga. Let me tell you something. We powerful. If we just stand on what we talk, bro. There's so many smart niggas. Like how you say, I know so many smart niggas that just complacent. Like you, you, you got your intellect skills is above. You know the number one thing I see around like, niggas like, though. Niggas don't have nothing to believe in. Nothing to believe. I'm talking about them the most talented, creative motherfuckers you ever see in your life. They just don't. Ha- and I hate that moment where you see or you feel where a nigga just then gave up. Right. When you have to ask a nigga, hey man, you. That's the moment where I be like, damn. Nigga lost all hope. Nigga. He ain't even living for shit. Nope. Not even that. Just not even to that point where you just see a motherfucker give up. Like, damn. You could have been right there. And then they see the motherfuckers who was around when they was around. Bro, I know so many talented niggas. Like, I know. I could count on, like, I could count at least 20 niggas. I could say, bro, NBA player, football player, shot right here. Woo, nigga, this whole team right here. Nigga, that's why I'm so big on them kids and showing them. Listen here, bro. 
keep going, whatever you want to do, stay on it, bro. Until until you get to wherever you think you're trying to get, bro. Man, you they, better, what I'm they better listen to what you're saying. Because every day going. somebody hit me and be like, hey, man, I'm thinking about doing comedy. Give me some advice. I'm like, man, I'm so knee, knee deep in my motherfucking hustle. You think I want to hear this shit about somebody who want to do it? <laughs> man, you don't leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> you want to do comedy. Nigga, you don't, you don't have no. I'm supposed to inspire you. Man, get the fuck out of here. Nigga wanna be funny, man. But I, I, it's not it's even a lot that. of niggas. It's like, a lot of niggas that's just say, a bold hey, bro, ass move. You inspired me to do coming. I say, bro, this shit harder than what y'all man. think, man. That don't let that fall shit. Not man. inspired to want to do it though. Do your shit. I don't give a fuck. Do your do your thing. Don't ask me shit eat, until eat, you eat, actually eat, do, do your it. thing. Hang. Say your job, ho. I got a million and one things to worry about. Not some shit you want to do. Well, Cause I couldn't just go. start DMing random people and just tell You're them mad shit. with advice, those guys. Damn. Cause I don't have the luxury to. Do. <laughs> I couldn't just be scrolling on Twitter one day and just find a goddamn anybody and just DM them and be like, "Hey man, I see you be washing cars. I always wanted to wash a car. Give me some advice." <laughs> Nigga might get nigga, go, nigga ain't gonna respect <laughs> that. Be like, you ain't never washed a car before. No, I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> You got a car? Nope. Think about buying one. You ever rode in the car? One time. When I was a little boy. I mean, you might give some advice. Man, oh, I, man, I see that shit all the time. I I I I don't like You know how people go through it, phases. It's a whole bunch of shit. But I do give folks advice like in real life. You see me in person, like, hey man, you know I think I, I mean I tell you every time, hey man, stay prayed up, stay working, bro. Your life is your life. It's destined for whatever it's gonna be it's gonna be. I just to. say work hard. But then I realized Don't let I was a nigga stop talking for no reason. Motherfuckers ask you a million questions for some shit they not even gonna do. Like, man, just leave me alone. I one thing, I, you know what? I don't really be tripping. I just tell a nigga, you did the only thing. When motherfuckers be doing uh the music, handle your business. If you got a verse, make sure you got 16 balls. If you got 16 five balls, I hear your music. Cause I know how it is. But if you got a hundred yeah. And 32 yeah. bars. Right. Listen, I, I know you put five songs together because they start sounding different after the first song. He, Everybody know my name. Y'all been to go insane. I mean, insane. Yeah, insane. I like what a nigga just said. Three songs, bro. You feel me? Like, slow down. Have 16 bars. That's it. And I'm going to hear your song, bro. Sometimes people can get overwhelmed. Bro, I just heard a girl 28 minute song the other day. Say this is an audio book. This is a book. This is not a song. <laughs> people, people don't this respect. Thing has chapters. People don't respect that shit. These motherfuckers know I'm crazy. Yeah, you crazy. You tell you. you I'm crazy, you, you bro. I'm You tell me quick. Hey man, don't come over with all that, man. Nigga, it's all sunny. He ain't playing. But it's just like nigga, I could, I don't get to be able to run up on people playing and shit. I won't see you when you like sixty, bro. You gonna be cranky, man. If you don't get the fuck away get from the fuck my yard, shooting that nigga and shit. Bah, hey, bro, let me tell you something. We got shot at when we were kids, hey, bro. Hey, man, what is this? Nothing listen, great bro. To remember about this? Listen, bro, cause this shit was funny here. We was walking in this man yard, bro, in the hood, and he was like, my partner was like, hey, bro. We finna cut through these four yards, but they be tripping. They be shooting at us. I be like, bro, what the fuck? I ain't trying to walk. He like, nah, nah, nah. You scrape, you scrape, you scrape. Nigga, so when we go to the backyard, <laughs> when that nigga hit that screen, though, he said, what y'all doing in my backyard? And my partner said, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, he said, let go, let go, let go. Nigga, oh, nigga, I swear to everything. Ten seconds later, oh, yeah. I'm like, that nigga crazy. But that shit's be fun, bro. All right, that's just another minute. Hey, man, your ass is fucking. <laughs> we were rolling, bro. That nigga crazy. crazy, man. This, hey, man, rest in peace to Uncle Roger Mayweather. He just passed away. Yeah, man, R.I.P., man. That was crazy. What? What the fuck you just say? Boy, you must not know shit about boxing. That was my favorite Roger Mayweather. Damn, quote. man. Shit, great. That's why you just got to love your loved ones, man. Make sure you tell them you love them. You feel me? Oh, you said I don't be giving people advice. This is the advice. Do that shit. Don't worry about a motherfucker. Just do that shit. Right. Do that shit a thousand times till you get that shit right. Just do it. Just like Nike say, just do it. It's, it's easier to pitch the fucking plan when you got one. Come up with the plan. Don't ask me to do the shit for you. 
That's all I'm saying, D. Motherfuckers been coming up with incomplete ideas and want me to do all the hard work and be like, hey, go do this, go over here. It don't work like that. You got to go out there because your luck might be better than mine in some aspects. It might be easier for you, or it might be harder, or you may have a plug that was stronger than the plug that I had at the phase that you are. You know, you never know, because in the world, in the matrix, you never know. You have to just go out and take your own chances and stop expecting people to live your life for you and try to scoot you up to where you want to be, because you'll never be where you want to be until you put in the work and the diligence and what you're trying to pursue. Like, you can't be out here dicking around. If you're going to be serious about some shit, be all the way serious about it. Jump all the way into it. Study it. See who was great at it before you. Who's in it now? Who's the number one motherfucker? Who's the number two? But who's the people that, the, you know, who's the person that the people like? Because it don't matter what the fuck team you look at. It's somebody on that team that got a fan base. And nobody knows why. Just like, this is the one crazy shit. Like, the dude... The the NBA player, the white dude with the red hair, what's his name? Brian Scalabrini. This mm -hmm. motherfucker was just, he's just famous and people loved him just because he was just a fucking white dude with red hair. Not just because of that, they just loved, they bought into the person that he was, the character. You get what I'm saying? It was like, I have shit to do with on the court. They just was glad to see they boy. you know? The people's champ is basically what I'm saying. So yeah, you could be that. So I don't know what to tell people when they ask me how to pursue their dreams because I don't know how how big they dreams are. Shit, I'm doing some. I'm trying to figure out how the fuck to get a kangaroo, and you asking me shit right now. <laughs> don't don't laugh at my. I got dreams too. Like I'm finished. Hey man, how can I start on my dream? Man, I don't fucking know. I don't have a kangaroo yet. I ain't did shit. You asking me like I'm not getting up every day trying to figure out how to get this goddamn kangaroo. And you asking me shit. Man, leave me the fuck alone. Let me get back on my <laughs> grind. Figure out how to get this goddamn giraffe neck kangaroo. Because I'm out. definitely finna get me a monkey. Man, I'm finna get me some shit that niggas like, man, I'm what? I'm one of them little small monkeys. That gonna be my dog, man. Me and my little monkey. Hey, man, you don't fuck with Didi. No, no, talk about it. Hey, man. Let go, let go. Let go. Let go. <laughs> let go. Be doing a little trick, my nigga. Hey, come on. Come I don't on. know if I necessarily <laughs> want, nigga, hey. want some <laughs> animals, but I definitely want some shit that's just, you know, that's especially for me. Like, I'm I'm trying to find me like a coat that's going to keep me warm with a soft inside. After this coronavirus, nigga, I'm telling you I'm going to get that monkey. They're going to be like, yeah, they're going to be like, like because I'm finna to go yet. monkey stupid on I need nigga. some candy, my nigga. The whole, that's going to be the whole thing. They'll be like, what happened? Coronavirus, we got everybody scared. Nigga, I'm finna go monkey on these nigga. Me and you finna get a monkey, man? What you going to name him? Mm, Talk to no nah, man. No. Bad, boy. <laughs> hey, what you gonna do when your monkey <laughs> run away, I'm man? Like, Come here, ugly boy. They were like, "What a name!" Right. Bring ugly your ass, monkey ass, ass here. Bring that ass here, ugly boy. I'm like, call him. I'm like, come on, I'll, I'll just be for the white people. Come on, see it. Ugly at no, ugly boy. See it again. Ugly boy. Yeah. <laughs> that what you gonna name the monkey? I'm gonna name ugly boy. Ugly boy. UAB. <laughs> UAB, what that is? Y'all, ugly, that my monkey name, y'all, ugly, that my monkey name, y'all, ugly, that my monkey name, y'all, ugly, that my, hey, I'm for real, that gonna be my monkey name. And I'm gonna need that for his uh his intro. He's gonna have a YouTube and everything. Hey man, what's your website to get that on my game now? Yeah, ugly. Yeah, that on my game now. Yeah, ugly. Hey, that on my game now. Yo, you gonna be coming in now, this. That's what. I'm gonna get one, bro. They gonna be dead big, bro. Them motherfucking lit, bro. Hey, animals tell you when when the fuck shit around, bro. Real talk. What's your website to get some merch? DC Young Fly Official dot com. What about you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Quit touching ish dot com. You been going crazy with your shit, bro. Motherfucker pulled. What? Oh, I think somebody pulled up on me with your sweater. Oh, I seen your sweater out just about. And I was like, look at that shit, man. Mm -hmm. Touching the people, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, those cry. <laughs> I hate people who got ugly cries, but that's a pet peeve of mine. Everybody ugly when they cry. No, not no, no. Like people who just can't help it. Like you know how some people like get ugly before they cry. They be like, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a different kind of cry. When you ugly cry, that means you really gave a fuck. Right. You gave a fuck that time. <laughs> you hit that ugly cry. Shit, shit was real. Hey, hey, bro, 
look at their arm, it look like they about to sneeze, bro. They be like, they be like, oh, you about to go down, bro. You about to cry. Mm-hmm. You like, damn, that fucked up. I hate the ugly cry, bro. Like your cry got to match your your your, your look too. It got to be like, <sighs> like you can't be like, ha. I be like, oh no, you don't fuck the whole funeral. Up. <laughs> it's a wrap, bro. <laughs> Y'all so stupid. We got crumbs all over. She got ugly. She got ugly cry. Oh, that was hilarious. When she like, he don't love me no more, <laughs> boy. I was like. It was kind of cute, but it was ugly at the same time. Cause how cheap was like, do not love me no more. She said, "What, girl?" <laughs> I said, "He don't love me no more." <laughs> but you ain't crying for real when you can talk. He don't love me. Tell you what made it believable, cause it was an ugly cry. That's what made you believe it was real. Did he cry? Did, did, did Tyree cry? The only thing Baby Boy was missing, that shit, like in the beginning, that shit should say based on a true story. Right. Cause There's a lot of Baby Boys out there, old punk ass nigga be making it seem like they hard. Mama Boy, the mama boyfriend her choked your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't tell Pete about that shit, though. You ain't tell <laughs> Pete with the came with that on home, man. You hear me? You got a real gangsta at home, boy, so that give you the validation to do certain shit. Nope. Then you get jumped on by the little niggas. That could have happened to any nigga. I ain't gonna knock. Here selling dresses. I ain't gonna knock you out, little homie, cause you got heart. I do want that little pink one. I'm just saying. Nigga, hold your chin up, nigga. Nigga out here selling dresses. Get your pussy ass on. Which one of these little niggas stole your bike, Joe the Joe? <laughs> nigga walked out there. Nigga gang up on some little nigga with his partner. It was him. He said, he punched that nigga. You punched him like a bitch. Straight, straight his ass up. <laughs> my head. My head. You mean to tell me this little nigga face harder than your fist? My head. <laughs> then when the nigga started whooping him, he started getting sad. He started looking at the nigga like, damn, that fuck, look. He getting a nigga an ad whooping. He was like, damn. Hey, that was fucked up how they threw that scene in there. You had to see a nigga getting his ass whooped just for you to remember you had a motherfucking son. Like, damn. He had a son. He That's what made him. That was the flashback he was having. I gotta go get my son. Damn, he got it. <laughs> that ad whooping made him think about his responsibility. <laughs> gotta go get my child. <laughs> <laughs> he whooping that nigga ad like this is his child. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Baby Boy is so important to the community because it's not a movie. It's a think piece. Mm-hmm. There's so many scenarios in there that you're going to face as a nigga out here in these streets. <laughs> I hear a nigga Melvin look that nigga head. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he put that nigga that yo and licked his head. That nigga Melvin said the nastiest shit in the world of that nigga when he like, did that. If we was on lockdown, I'd make you bend over for me. I'm like, what the fuck? Whoa, <laughs> nigga. You are not that upset. <laughs> he was that mad, bro. He wasn't that fucking mad. Then he choked the nigga out and let him go and looked right at him and said, you want something from the stove? I was like, that nigga is evil. That is some evil shit. He threw him then when he walked in the kitchen and this nigga was naked and that nigga turned around and said, you want some breakfast? Like, what the fuck? No, nigga. And he was done like this. That nigga big hell in that rocket like this. You know what, me and your mama used to be in there. Ain't trying to ring him up dancing and tell you how he fucking your mama. That's disrespectful. That he had every up. right to hate Melvin. See, man, fuck Baby Boy. Turn this shit off. We have seen that movie entirely too many times. I fuck with Baby Boy. There's a lot of Baby Boy nigga out here, man. Y'all nigga ain't hard. Y'all just some Baby Boy. We're going to throw some shit like that in the 85 South Shore movie. It's just going to be little scenes that is going to add up into a bullshit movie if you watch them and put them together. You know what? Can't wait for our Rutz Motel. How did you see the Roach Motel one that dropped today? The mm-hmm. Roach clip. It dropped today? God yeah. Damn. I ain't see shit. You ain't paying attention, man. I ain't see me shit. You got to see this shit. Where it happened? Hold on. Why your camera look so dark? This shit look dark. What camera? Black ass nigga. What you Dad. talking about? You ain't see this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a missing, I'm a missing. It's been a while. I'm gonna cut his fucking dick off the way, bro. You fucking.
fucking tripping, dog. You tripping, dog. You tripping, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Cracks? <laughs> oh, that's the what? Yeah. And you put that in. Don't cut his fucking dick off the way, way, bro. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing to say about that. That hit ya. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my dog, man. Hey, hey man. Don't speak on shit like that, man. That's. Who my, my people? That is that Boosie is important to the community, Boosie bro. Boosie definitely is a hood legend, man. Bro, I'm hood so glad legend, he got on. Man. He got on Instagram. That shit's so entertaining to me, bro. He lit, bro. It's, it's like, like every other day he serious. drops some shit. That's nigga. This shit got getting me through the coronavirus right here. Real talk, With a nigga man, getting a haircut nigga. and that nigga's thing. Put your pussy lips on live. I give you a thousand dollars, nigga. <laughs> that is enough laughter to keep me going for the next couple weeks. <laughs> Every time that nigga get on there, it's fucking magic. Man, Boots a real nigga, man. Yeah. Because everybody want to see that side anyway. Everybody know he a gangster. Right. But nigga want to see, like, man, the, the, everybody know he a family man. You feel right. me? Nigga, you know what I mean? Nigga know what's going on, man. Everybody know he a good nigga. We want to see that side of Boots. Right. And he's still gangster. He be in there. Rihanna gonna love me. I'm sorry, A South, because I fought with A South. That's my little nigga. But right. I, I know if she back on the market, Rihanna. You better come find me. Like, man, that nigga. That nigga be, that's what can't you be nobody in there talking about boozy. You better come find me. You like that nigga crazy as hell. Sound like a, 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 a old big mama. That nigga really just be using Instagram to talk to everybody. That nigga get on there and just say wow shit. All my baby mamas moving to Atlanta. I'ma double the child support. I be like, this nigga serious. He crazy as hell. Yeah, he said that. He ain't, he ain't called one of his baby mama ugly, did he? Yeah, he said he did. He did. They had a big thing. I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Bro, Instagram is very entertaining. You know, yeah, ever since all the clubs and shit been shut down, a lot of people been going live. For real? A lot of people. Lot yeah, of I've been seeing people going live. I ain't... That shit, I ain't with that shit. No, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I fuck with it, but hey. Ah, what do you want to see right now? I don't know. What you want? I want to see what you're doing right now. <laughs> I'm doing what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I'll let you know when I'm out. Some people in the about. Wanna, some people want to see that shit. I ain't got time for that. I got real life, man. I'm at the house, man. I'm at the house chilling, man, with my people, man. What y'all want to know? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> We thug it, man. You bought some more car? Mm-hmm. You did? Bro, save me one of the, um, the, um, the bubbles, man. I can't find one of them motherfuckers save me. Mm-hmm. We gonna save me one of them <laughs> keep trying to get that shit right and then give me a big ass. No, I don't want you putting nothing in it, man. Just give me the fucking car, man. He keep trying to fix it up, then sell it. Uh, you know what I'm finna do? I'm finna put some scrotus on that thing. I'm finna put another motor, and then when I get it tinted, I got some music. Can I buy the car, please? <laughs> I don't want the music. I want the scrotus. <laughs> How many you got? Three? Bubbles? Four. Not the other one. I don't know. I don't, we don't really count the other one. One gone. The sole one. Not not the brown one. We don't really count that one like that. That's a 96 instead of 98. What one? The brown, remember? The, uh, the, 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 uh, that one ain't a, 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 a bubble. It's a, uh, what's the other one? Caprice? It ain't a Caprice. Is it a Caprice? No, yeah, I got... Yeah, that's it. It's a Caprice. I'm, thinking, I'm talking about the Impala. I got four Impalas and one. And one Capri. And, I know. ain't talking about the Capri. I'm talking about the Impala. I had five, but I sold one. I want one of them Impala, man. I can't find one. I can't find one. I can't find one. Now, that's going to be my last one. I'm chilling. You know I got the punny egg. You know I got how the, much you want to spend? Colors. I, that will wrap. I know what man, it what is. what you mean how much I want to spend? For one that's like on Craigslist? All right, well, I'm saying you still got to set a budget. A Craigslist budget? 
That shit varies from what you want to buy. He want to spend fifteen thousand on a car, man. I ain't doing that shit. Man, this. I went. I, I did that for my Corvette, man. I ain't doing that shit no more. Hey, man. That was it. That was a classic. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm a, and I'm a fuck with that one. Just on some, and a crate popper. I should have held out because it was another one on the market that was so clean. What would I look? Fifteen thousand. <laughs> yes, Los. <laughs> you be putting shit in cars. 15, that's what I'm saying. What the 15? That was 20. Wow. Nigga made money with me and want to take everything we make it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know what you get. <laughs> you think I'm going to sell a car for 20? No, this motherfucker. <clears throat> Come on. This car is clearly $75,000. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a classic. That's fucked up. Wow. Bruh, they only made them in 96. I know. <laughs> That's why, but then I got my cutlet. That motherfucker so clean. Nah, man, I wouldn't do you like that, man. You, you know. I'm gonna still do something to the cutlet though. I don't know what I want to do to it though. What? I'm chill. I ain't really with the beat. Cause you know I got a heart murmur, so I ain't trying to ride around that. Ah, shit, I ain't with that. Oh yeah. yeah. And I'm an old nigga, so I don't really too much care about that loud ass. I don't want people to know I'm coming. Right. I hate that. Hear a nigga before you, you hear a nigga before you see him. <laughs> you see, this is the thing about the Chevy. What? What? Where you at, man? Stop. <laughs> Why, why you slow down, man? We heard you. Calm the fuck up the street. We you know why it be so? It's, it's always hard for me to sell cars because when I buy them, I always you get never. I know it ain't. I get attached to them. I just always think I'm buying some shit that nobody else wants. So it be like, nigga, yeah. wait, man, wait, now, why, why you want this? I'm not even gonna lie. That motherfucking uh, Mustang you got, boy, the old one, the green, the black one. Oh yeah. No, that's not a Mustang. That is a Camaro. That bitch hard. That's probably my <laughs> one of my favorite cars. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. The Camaro is off the chain. Okay. I like the wheels. I'm and going to the get originality you put. I'm actually going to pick my Firebird up tomorrow. For real? Yeah. No, nah, that 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 one. That Camaro probably like the latest, cleanest, classic, right? The '69. That one. Is it a '69? That Camaro? Uh -huh. The black one? Is the orange? I got a '69 that's orange and black. No, the black one they got the red. They got it got some red in, not interior, but it got red on the black one. The black Camaro. You said it was a Camaro. Oh, the convertible. Yes. Oh, food. the old one. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, 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 that yeah. motherfucker is a one. That motherfucker lit. He tripping. Oh, I didn't change so many, it. He got so many cars. He like oh, the one I didn't know. Oh. The one you okay. uh, that I pulled up up here. Yeah, I gave that to my uncle. <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah. I don't see him like that. Yeah. I'm supposed to pick that one up Friday. I had <laughs> a few little lit. changes done to it. Yeah. The, the green one probably the most, the 85 South probably the most latest light show car you probably got. Yeah, I had made a few little changes to that. For real. I ain't, I ain't resurfaced it yet. Because that peanut butter, that peanut butter interior was. I said, he did. He, he went custom? No nigga don't go custom. Nigga went full custom. Nigga though. went custom. Nigga went full custom. Right. Nigga went custom. See, nigga don't know you do them call though. They're gonna see some shit here in a minute. I got some things on up my sleeve. Right. I got a few things that I've been pitching. I had to move a few things around to get them like I needed them. Right. You know, Chad be laughing. You know, nigga be bullshitting when it comes to these cars, man. <clears throat> you know. I don't fuck around. Chad bought him a speed racer. That nigga here, that nigga here wanted a speed race. Always wanted a stick shift, eighty eight. I'm like, this nigga here, <laughs> fuck wrong with him. Speed race, speed race. That shit hard as hell. I can't even. <laughs> I'm like, this is my last time riding with you. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I love this car. <laughs> I'm like, this nigga here crazy, bro. That's I'm how you drive it, bro. <laughs> Always wanted this car. You know how to drive a stick? I fucked around. <laughs> nah, I ain't. I ain't see how to I fucked around. I, ain't, I don't like them. They cool. They all. They nice. I always got to feel like I'm driving them, but I ain't really. Uh uh. That shit is a breeze. It is, but I, I done fucked up a clutch before. Yeah, that's probably one well, of the worst up, smelling you, things. When, once you had that real, that first official jerk, and you hear that motherfucker say, <laughs> Yeah, you done missed the whole gear when that happened. But I was doing that shit too many times. <laughs> and when you in traffic, you got to restart the car, put that motherfucker in. Oh, it's definitely going to cut off. Hey, Joe. Hey, boy. <laughs> Whole car cutting off. You done came off the clutch. You know how fast. embarrassing that is? You got to keep telling people. 
Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> oh, man. I, that shit happened to me. I was on a steep ass hill when I what? first started uh, learning how to drive that bitch. Whole bunch of cars behind me. That bitch cut off. I missed the light bulb one time on the second sign. Mm -hmm. The light came through. I let that bitch go and I burned out all the way up there. <laughs> All the way up the goddamn See, this is what I, I, Once I got the hang of it, it was cool. I just ain't like stopping at red lights. Cause I mean, I got to start all the way back up. I'm like, all right, I got the D. That's easy. Downshift. It's easy. <laughs> your, car, your car do that little jerk when it's slow down. like. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. You don't have to downshift. But I'm all the way down in first gear. gear. By that time, I don't know if I'm in first or not. Why and by the time I get in first, the motherfucker be like. <laughs> Now I gotta tell people to go around me one more time. That's because you're coming off the clutch too fast. If you hit the clutch faster than you hit the gas, it's gonna cut off every I'm time. I'm trying to be out here talking about something. Like, I just wanna. I see everybody else. Yeah, because they actually know how to drive a stick. I'm doing exactly what they do. <laughs> no, you just think you just going through the motion. You ain't seeing what they doing. <laughs> Fucking asshole. They got fucked that whole cold. I said, it's a wrap. I don't like all that jerky shit either. Why would it be jerking if you know? Well, when fuck you, it. When you, you down shit, it. he be like, <laughs> and then when you, when your car ain't really all the way fully equipped, when you got it from Craigslist, it gonna jerk anyway. Who you been riding with, bro? That's who I'm buying my cars from. Cause motherfuckers <laughs> who know how to drive a stick, it ain't no goddamn jerking. That motherfucker ride just like a normal. Ain't no jerking. On the downshift, if you you downshift and you know you might you may or may not stop, you just go to second and. Pop that bitch I ride smooth. I, I, know well, you know, I, I don't have time to teach you I, I motherfuckers how to drive the dirt bike. I'm not ride dirt bike. There you go. I'm not to change gears on dirt bike. Go up, down, four, 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 one down, five, up, one down. What's happening? What you want to do? That's the same thing, though. No, it ain't. I, I'm, I'm good with my toes. I know how to kick that motherfucker. You know how to lift you. So you know how to lift your big toe. Oh, man. Don't think about it. This little motherfucker right. This motherfucker. Ah. I got a special touch. I got a special touch on it. So much skill. You see what I'm saying? Skill. Special touch on it. But I, I want to get my motorcycle like some bad hair. Hey man, do it. Nothing. It ain't nothing to it but to do it. Time is right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got time to do a bunch of shit. We got time to do a lot of shit. I get my motorcycle, but you know motorcycles don't cost shit. I'm gonna get my motorcycle. Go get you a nice one for like about thirty five hundred. I got one. You got your motorcycle license? No, nah, I got a motorcycle though. See, that's what I'm saying. I want, I don't want to do myself like that, cause I end up getting on the bike and yeah. without the motorcycle license. And that's what a lot of them niggas do. They be like, nigga, I ain't got no motorcycle license. You got a motorcycle license? Nigga, I got a like, driver's license. I can yeah, drive. Draw them niggas on motorcycle. Like, who, who, who gonna stop me on the motorcycle? Who gonna yeah. pull over on the motorcycle? Me, motherfucker. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you running away from every police with your stupid ass? God, you got me <laughs> fucked up. Those people can ride the fuck out of them. Like. Man, I love motorcycles, bro. I seen a nigga bobbing and weaving through traffic on a motorcycle, and that shit was crazy, bro. That nigga had to feel maybe like a mile ahead of it, maybe two miles. I just seen that nigga. I know that nigga was limping. That nigga was limping, bro. He was limping on the side of the railway, and I was like, look at that nigga, bro. He was just weaving through folk, and I was like, bro, he got to be dangerous. Two miles ahead, that nigga was limping. To his bike, that nigga bike all the way up there. And you know the crazy part? <laughs> <laughs> the other morning I was up late Watching videos of people You know how they had like People in, in traffic being assholes Right And they had like You know how you just watch A series of videos They had these videos of people like Cutting people on motorcycles off Just being dickheads they For real crazy. And the crazy part about You can cheat that shit, shit. Had, Actually in Atlanta Like right there on um, you, Right by the underground You don't even need no motorcycle Like you can get you an electric scooter and ride them off of, It looked like a bike But it's a Oh when the yeah. summer hit I'm getting me one of them goddamn. Uh, Try sick of Hell yeah You seen it For like 99 a month Yes sir I'm gonna buy me one flat out I gotta see what that shit Hitting on I'm What's that shit like, A T-Rex You can ride Uh huh Or a spider or some shit They're like you can drive. Yeah I'm getting me one of them Can am I'm on it That shit be lit I got asthma Me and your auntie With the long titties Gonna be on that Ah. And she gonna keep pulling them long motherfuckers up every she time I start. She gonna be around my waist, and every time I hit the motherfucker, she gonna lean back. We gonna be sitting at the light. She gonna pull them long motherfuckers up. Then I'm gonna pull off. They gonna drop again. We riding all motherfucking summer. Me all night. And your auntie with them slingshot titties. We going to Birmingham. 
we going to all the places older black women like to go. Knoxville, Chattanooga, on the spider? Nashville. Uh, Man, we're going to ride all the way over to goddamn Columbia, South Carolina, and go to a cookout over her family in them house. What about if it rain? You know that motherfucker ain't got no hood. Fuck. Yeah, we you know it ain't got no cover, it ain't got no roof. Yeah, we're going to go early in the morning. All right. Yeah. Niggas gonna be any number win. Y'all gonna be smell like outside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't go no inside event. Y'all nah. gonna smell like outside. We're gonna, ri- <laughs> we're gonna ride down her homegirl house in Stockbridge. We riding. Me and your auntie with some slingshot titties. She can't have on no lashes. No, we are deploying them off. She gonna have to get the ones that get uh, <laughs> put in by the professional. I like I, I, I like the thought of the car, baby, but. I, <laughs> We need to get on the inside. <laughs> now you know she gonna have some of them big ass shades from the beauty supply store. <laughs> Hilarious, bro. Yeah, man. I like them chicks who built for anything, ready for everything, want to go anywhere. Fuck you, mean. Don't care how we get there. Put on some sweatpants right now. Let it ride. On. She ready. Put your hand in the ponytail. Let it ride. Mm-hmm. I love them. Put your hand in the ponytail, bitch. What? Bitch, you just put your hand in the ponytail. I like the man. ones who just have I enough hair to have shit. a ponytail. Them the ones I like. Damn, just enough. Just yeah, as long as she got some ponytail. Mm-hmm. I like I like for them to have a hair to get in the ponytail, but that little side hat on reach, so it kind of like fold out a little bit. You like, ooh, I like that little. Oh, fold that just down. made me appreciate it. <laughs> that little fold down, right? I love that little fold down. And they're like, ooh, little fold down. Hey, <laughs> little hood, you got that little fold down. I'm like, ooh, I like that little fold down. <laughs> once you cut the hair off and now they just Oh, she there. fucked up when she be them Stupid yeah. ass. Oh. Gonna cut your head. <laughs> now you got that little fold down. That shit still ain't never grew right. Got a little fold down. Flip. She always got the bobby pin in that part. Yeah. A little bit. We got You got a ponytail, but you got one bobby pin. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. You know what that means. <laughs> That's a little fold down right that there. little fold down. <laughs> yeah. Got a little fold down. Welcome back to another rendition of the 85 South Show Corona Special. Hope we entertained you motherfuckers during the sickness. Hey, man. <clears throat> Any closing remarks you would like to leave? I'm ready to go with? home, man. Fuck that. <laughs> you ready to go myself? <laughs> nigga, uh, coronavirus is real. Y'all nigga have been entertained. I'm going to the crib. Do some social distancing. Oh, nah, man. You know, they know what's going on. Make sure y'all go... Make sure y'all go get that 24 hour man out right now. Screen. Oh, Why you in the house? Go fuck on some. You dig what I'm saying? Go That's smoke good on some. That's titty music. Man, what? It's That's good. It's good for play music. If you just want to waste some time, play that song and goddamn and and, and and go ahead and suck on some titties. Yeah, here's some good fingering music. Mm. <laughs> nah, ain't no fingering music. You know, it ain't titty sucking music. It grown for it. Nobody got time to be. If once you do that shit, you eating on some pussy. Oh, yeah. Clit rubbing. Music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. If I'm playing with the if I'm if I'm fingering, just be best believe I'm planning on putting my mouth on it. Damn. If I put my finger on it, I'm putting my mouth on it. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's ambition right there. That's ambition. I just realized y'all niggas swap. Y'all niggas smooth. How did y'all do that, Stefan? <laughs> y'all niggas swap, and I didn't even know it. And I was just looking at him like he being a whole time. Yeah, 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 he crazy. That's because you had. Oh, how I fuck. All right, man. Well, look. Tell these people what we got coming up. Hey, man, we got more shows coming up. We're going to other than that. We got more trap. The more trap episodes coming soon. <laughs> hey, man, we about Ladies to go Mr. tomorrow. <laughs> I, I already got Joe working on it. He about to go in the vault and see what what we ain't dropped out the trap, man. He going in the vault. Man, redrop some shit. They won't know shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers be capping. They swear they sing it. Fuck around and be like, Pittsburgh, one more time. But these folks in Pittsburgh again. Stupid <laughs> here. <laughs> Somebody keep reposting all that shit. Somebody better. Yeah. Somebody. It's a whole nother account. They just repost that shit. For real. Somebody Thank made you. a whole eight hour compilation of this show. For real. Hell yeah. We ain't got nothing to do. Nope. That was his first video. He got video. way more time than we do. Right. That, that was his first video. Now he do. This motherfucker got do more video. time for us than we do. <laughs> How long did it take to upload that eight and a half hour video? I went crazy about it. How How long did you have to hit my stupid ass do all that yelling? Seven and a half hours. <laughs> 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 I know them folks were like, cut the 
going down down there. <laughs> what are they doing to that boy? <laughs> Someone is being raped downstairs. Stop laughing. <laughs> Can't laugh at that. Stop, DC. That is fucked up. We are going to get attacked left and right by hate groups. We talking about ourselves though. I know. Man, I might want to hear that shit. Man, group. smoke this. They gonna take that smoke little clip. This. Give a fuck. Smoke this. Wow, DC Young Fly, tell us how you really feel about the big R. I'm like, I was talking about myself. Fuck you. Fight. They ain't gonna fight nothing. I come from that era. Shut up. Fight. Fight. Nope. <laughs> tell like, nigga fight, nigga. Shut up. They'd rather have a <laughs> war <laughs> of words. Man, then my nigga, shut up. Shut up and fight. <laughs> hey, make sure you keep playing <laughs> that <laughs> shit around. Bubble. Don't be out here licking on those strange privates <laughs> that you haven't already been licking on. <laughs> Shut up and fight! Can't, don't get, hey, don't be out here getting hit from nobody new right now. <laughs> Basically what I'm saying, stick to the rivers <laughs> and the lakes that you used to. Shit, real, ain't it? Yeah, it ain't the time to be fucking on somebody new. <laughs> Motherfucker gonna take me when I'm gonna see you. Bitch, if we live, that's when. <laughs> what do you mean? Can we make it through this? I'm not about to give you my last days. <laughs> it's a last day. It, it might be, yeah. I don't know what tomorrow may hold. <laughs> they telling us not to be in groups of nine or more and shit. Every day I wake up. <laughs> don't count these folks. We just made it. Oh, we hit the li- we hit the limit right, <laughs> right now. We can be you. shut down any moment. Sorry, <laughs> CDC. Sorry, coronavirus is in the building. <laughs> we don't know what the fuck tomorrow may be. This shit day to day like a motherfucker. They say anybody who ain't got cable, you can't get coronavirus. Shit. They come through the TV. Shut the fuck up, man. Nope. It says social media is spreading the coronavirus. They say the news is. So if you ain't it's got so cable, many places that good. this shit could have came from. It could have came from that Popeye's chick. I think TikTok has something to do with it. <laughs> I they, put the, they put the corona in the chicken. Right. Man, put it in the chicken. Harvey I'm Weinstein go, go to jail. Everybody's sick now. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. That nigga got said 25. Yeah, man. 23, that fuck, dude. Yeah. Uh, did you see this motherfucker when he was going to court to get sentenced? Nigga went to court that morning and nigga had the walker. They told him he'd get 23 years. That nigga walked that. Man, Leah, fuck that walker. That nigga walked that, that bitch with no walker. <laughs> I said, in time, man, that nigga stand up. Fuck that. Hey, Open. man. Man, that shit crazy. Fuck bro. that. That nigga know he he only got half the time he was supposed to get. That nigga touched there. Fuck around no women, man. man. That was I remember when the allegations man. first started coming out. That For nigga real? ain't even deny shit until the black girl said that she he tried to get her to give him a massage or some shit. Lupita Nyong'o, that yeah. lady. That was her name, Lupita. Lupita. <laughs> ain't that her name? <laughs> Lupita. Not Lupita. how you pronounce it. New Peter, Lupita. 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 The Lupita one from Cut It So I mean She's Mexican and Kenyan. Oh. Oh yeah. So I yeah. Black. I better say Lupita. When she came yeah, out and crazy. said some Harvey Weinstein allegations, that's the time when he came out and was like, Hey, hold up, wait, I ain't do all this shit. That was the only on, time. But when the white ladies were saying it, he just let it ride. But when the black girl came out, he was like, Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. But that so the black girl named Lupita. Yeah. The one from goddamn twelve years of slave. Oh, shout it. I just See, I don't be paying attention to people's shit like that. Like, I mind my fucking bed. White people, this is a, a, a part example. I mind my fucking bed there, bro. I don't be knowing what's going on. I just be thinking, I just assume sometimes. No. Did I you? mind my bed all right, we'll fuck it. I know he was a pedophile, but I ain't know who. who? I want to go and figure out who the women were. Like, let me go see the women. No, you know these I mean? are all women who famous already. For real. Most of them. God damn. He was doing dirty shit to make them, you know, so they could put him oh, like, well, hey, you want to get in this movie, come that's, play with my balls later on in my hotel. That's room. fucked up. And he was like, yeah, that's the type of shit he was on. So that's why he gone. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up. Damn. He that's was a lad. He's the last of the sleazy Hollywood producers. Oh, yeah. We got to get them type of niggas up out of there. Hell, yeah. We got to protect our queens at all times. Yeah, you shouldn't have to suck nobody dick to work. At, at all. At all. Not unless you want to. I'm like, titty. Yeah, you should have the freedom and choice. Right. Sure. You dig what I'm saying? Don't give them folks that's part yeah, of the job application. Yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah don't like, <laughs> well, you qualify, but... uh. You know. 
Like, God damn, I ain't even know that. What is that, a fire print, my Hey, hey, come on in the back if you really want. Hell you know no. what I mean? That's you know real I mean? sleep. That's some shit, old puss-ass sucker shit. So yeah, make sure we protect our queen. It's abuse of power, and those are the type of creeps that we don't want our Right, those type of niggas we beat the fuck up. All the cousins and shit around. <coughs> oh, me. One so thing about us, man, we're really on the up and up. <coughs> We don't walk fuck up on with nigga, those. hit his ass up on the chin eight times. How you gonna do it? <laughs> oh, nigga. Who that is right there, gang? That's goddamn Joe. Oh, All right, man. It's in the Los 85 South Show. Try to know what time it is, man. It's your boy DC on Fly, man. You did. Get high. Everything is okay. Stay prayed up, everybody, man. Listen here. Once again, man, we love y'all, man. Peace, love, blessings to everyone. 85 South Show. We love y'all. 85 South Show, bitch. Joe, give me some of that goddamn food, man. Oh, my leg. My leg. My leg. My you order some shit? Yeah. Oh, my boy. You know, that's the bad part. Oh, yeah. The cinnamon stick, they be sleeping on them yeah, bitches. Yeah. Man, they be, man, they be talking so much shit. I'll be like, bro, all right, shut up. Cinnamon sticks off the chain. Cinnamon sticks off the chain. Damn. Hey, bro, white covers are so funny now because I get shit I guess because I'm older. They be thinking shit funny in here. I'm like, look at this stupid ass nigga. You ever been walking down the block? <laughs> you was walking, I was like, wow. I'm like, this shit ain't been fun. Why people is hilarious, bruh? They find shit funny, bruh. I did like Lucy K, though. Huh? Lucy K? Lucy K? Some wild shit. That's the nigga that was uh, jacking off in front of Yeah, we know, but it was funny before that. No, just down there. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm the type of nigga, man. You pick me up, man. I'll punch you behind, man. Well, he did. He announced it though. He was masturbating. He was like, "Y'all, I'm about to masturbate," and then nobody leave. Yeah. But he was like, "All right, fuck it." Now, I ain't gonna lie. I did show my ass one time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, go, man. Man.